All right, hello. Welcome to the stream this Saturday, July something or other, 27, it tells me. So today is a landmark occasion, if only for the fact that for the very first time, I will be streaming the game that I've said I've been playing for ages, Oregon Trail 2. Despite the fact my Twitch Now playing thing has said that's the game I've been playing for probably years now. Turns out it's just been a massive lie this entire time. I've been playing Oregon Trail version 1.2 and not Oregon Trail 2. But we can change that today because now somebody mailed me a copy of Oregon Trail 2, which I have made a disc image of so you don't have to listen to my CD-ROM drive. Got the case here. Age is 10 to adult. That's me. I'm age 10. Comes with a free trial of AOL. We'll get to this in a moment. But first, maybe one more round of the old-fashioned Oregon Trail, just for posterity. And then we can switch on into the new one and see what has changed. So... In we go. Now the real question is, will we end up playing this one exclusively, or going back into uh, our version of the Oregon Trail? That I don't know. I don't know if we could ever replace this specific version of the Oregon Trail, but we'll see. I've never played the second. Apparently, that is the version that most everyone has played. The version I've streamed pretty consistently is the only version of the Oregon Trail I've played. Ever. I don't really know what's different. The only thing I've done with the Oregon Trail 2 is just to make sure it works. I loaded it up. It went. I didn't play it. So... I don't really know what is different, aside from the version. It went up by 0.8 units of game. It's an extra four-fifths of an Oregon in Oregon Trail 2 versus this version. So let me just load up the little Oregon chat thing at the bottom. Boop. Okay. Oops, now I broke it. Hang on. Busy breaking everything. There we go. So apparently, it seems like Oregon Trail version 2 is the version that most people played. And I'm just the odd man out for uh, playing this one. Is that lined up? It's not lined up. Now it's lined up. But not on this side. Get even, damn you. Uh, nah, close enough. Okay. Let me just load up the good old Oregon Trail randomizer. Doo -doo 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 -doo. One minute, guys. Okay. Uh, let me actually move XSplit over. Running out of space for everything. Help. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's put this here. And put this... There? Oh, good enough. And... There, now we just have wood trim on wood trim on wood trim everywhere on this screen. But, uh, anyway... Let's play maybe a round or two of this, and then we can switch on into the Oregon Trail 2. CD-ROM works with Windows 3.195 and Macintosh, and has an instruction manual which I can't seem to get out of the container. Oh. Either the instruction manual is made of cardboard, or it's... something has spilled on it, and it's 
really, really stiff at the moment. Not like what paper should sound like. Oh, it's all stuck together inside. Hang on. Uh, maybe I shouldn't open this, because I think it's a bad idea. Uh, now I'm not going to know how to install it. I think I can open the Oregon Trail instruction manual, at least. <laughs> All the pages are kind of stuck together. It survived a flood. Okay. Sent to me by Renard Rue in the chat. Apparently survived a flood. So, I guess that's some pretty good rationale for why the pages don't open. I guess we'll just have to get to the, uh, get through the Oregon Trail without any instruction. Also with... 11 oxen, 17 sets of clothes, 2 boxes of bullets, nothing, 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 and 30 pounds of food. Yes, cock the CD case. And team at the front, team green, team at the bottom, or not that, I mean month, totally the same thing. August, going at a strenuous pace. Challenge is to shoot every animal. Uh, for this team, or not this team, but this run, thinking just have plain old colors, and then one more run after this in the uh, version of the Oregon Trail we've been playing, where we'll have a theme, and the theme is a question that I feel when it comes to great debates in America, none is bigger than this, but we'll get there in a moment. Let's get through this playthrough first, or at least as far as we could possibly get. Given that it says we need to shoot every animal and there's only two boxes of bullets, we'll probably have a bit of an issue, but anyway, we'll see. You never know. So anyway, let me go and punch all this stuff in. Challenge, shoot, shotto, shoot every animal. Okay. Welcome, Welcome to the to Oregon the Trail. You're about to begin a great adventure traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America. Team at the front is Team Green, followed by Team Red, Team Blue, Team Subscriber, and Bess. There is no Team Pink. Okay, fine. Team Pink and Bess. You guys have got to scoot over a little bit and got to share the seat. Look, Bess is a family friend. I mean, I promised them we'd bring her to Oregon, so, you know... I know it's inconvenient, just deal with it for now, guys. Said we need to leave in August with 11 oxen, 17 sets of clothes, two of these, da 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 da, da and 30. Okay. That is what the randomizer says. So... Off we go. At a strenuous pace. And again change your color in the chat by clicking the little gear and going to red, blue, green, or pink. Or subscribing, I guess, to be on Team Subscriber. Or if you're Bess, if you just happen to be Bess, you could be on Team Pink and Bess. It's like pork and beans, except it's pink and Bess. I always feel like the strenuous music music or the strenuous pace music is trying to build up to something else, but it never goes anywhere. And given that we're going to be on a strenuous pace, I'm sure you guys will hear more than enough of the strenuous pace music. Now the challenge is to shoot every animal, so I'm assuming that just means hunt forever until you're out of bullets. And that's that. How many runs did you miss? Oh, uh, stream just started. This is the first run. So there's plenty of time. Like last time, the challenge is to shoot every animal. One, two, three. Oh. That is five buffalo, three bunnies, four bunnies, and one duck, which is somehow off the screen. 
for like 2,000 pounds of food, or 1,845 pounds of food, which is coincidentally almost the year we're in. Hmm. Maybe it's a sign. Also, uh, my box of dirt tea arrived, so if you hear random slurping in the background, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, the, the sign is that we left three years too late. Kansas River Crossing, 2.4 feet deep, meaning we can indeed ford this. You thought I hated the dirt tea, why did I buy more? I don't know. I've got Stockholm Syndrome. I can't drink any other tea. Let me turn the volume down a little on my side. Look, I feel like I better understand the plight of the people on the Oregon Trail if I'm drinking things that taste like dirt. I have to get into character, you know? I need to understand. If everything isn't tasting like dirt, I can't possibly comprehend the plight these people were going through. Clearly. August 11th, 1848. Been on the trail for 10 days and no one's gotten sick. However, if that is boring you, there's always a chance to go and visit Hot Oregon Oxen Girls at twitch.tv slash monotonetim. Gotta get some excitement along the trail. Now, the only issue we're gonna have is that we only have 20 bullets left, and if the challenge is to shoot every animal, next time we go hunting, we're not going to have any more bullets. So... Aside from that, we're doing just fine. And then Team Pink and Bess got lost for five days. And then it spoils. Damn you, Pink! Or Bess. I don't think I've ever met a Bess in real life. There's been Bess on the Oregon Trail, but never... A Bess I've known personally. Oh, I already had bullets. That was... fast. Is it short for Elizabeth? Maybe? Have I ever met an Obadiah? I haven't. But maybe Team Blue did, and that's why they got typhoid fever. Three days, Blue. You got this. Come on. You'll be fine. Look, what's the guide say about fever? Oh. Fever isn't even in the guide, okay? You're not gonna... Die of a disease that's not in the guide, are you? No, you will. Oh. Oops. Well, why didn't you say you had dysentery in the first place? Who's leading the wagon this time? It is Team Green. Team Green is at the helm. Don't worry. Uh, there we go. Two. Team Blue is gone, but we still have Red, Green, and Pink. Or Team Subscriber, which you can hop on at any time by clicking the gear and changing your color to one of those. No water. Water is blue. There is no team blue. Hmm. So after this, we'll do one more round of the Oregon Trail, my version. Then we can pop into the Oregon Trail too. It was graciously sent to me in the mail and includes a free trial of America Online. And also works on my Windows 3.1 computer. No grass for the oxen. Think of all the food we don't have to worry about eating now that Team Blue is dead. It's so much more economical. Oh wait, I just realized we don't we don't have any bullets, do we? Throw rocks or something? I don't know. You didn't use any bullets. Oh gee, I wonder why. Fifty. That's forty. Fifty. 
51, 55, 45, 87, 8. Da. Oh. <laughs> 13 sets of clothes for 1,234 bullets. Uh, I kind of need those pants, but thanks for the option. 666 bullets for four oxen. But you just had it a minute ago. 666. No. 666. No. 420. 042. 5420. No. No one? Nobody? Please? 121. 111. La. Do. You don't have enough space in the wagon. Hey man, who are you to judge? 777. For 11 sets of clothing, that's kind of most of it. 334. Four sets of clothing. Okay, I'll take it. We traded four pairs of super chic pants for 334 bullets, but now all of that trading has exhausted Team Pink and Bess. Suffering from exhaustion. But don't worry. After a successful hunting trip, they'll be fine. Successful. One bunny. A bunny and a duck. Two bunnies and a duck. You can make a sandwich. If bunnies were bread. How did we already go through 20 bullets? Five pounds of meat, 20 bullets. Sounds like a good ratio. No grass for the oxen. We all starve together then. Look, the challenge says to shoot every animal. Doesn't necessarily mean I'll end up hitting them all, but. Could try it. Who is Bess? Uh, she was just on the default name loadout, and I figured, you know, maybe we'll just bring her along. Shoot the oxen. I'd love to. Oh, they have a little uh, subscriber icon notification thing. That's neat. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the bandwagon. Now you have got the pleasure of having your very own spot on the Oregon Trail where you get to die. Oh, we're out of bolts again. 65 pounds of meat. We're dead. Come on, Team Pink. Ox, no. Heavy fog, no. September 11th, no. Two days to rest. Come on. Come on. Oh, damn it. Team Red died. Nope. Only Team Blue died. Everyone else is okay. Did I decrease the hunting time? I did, but we're running out of bullets regardless. Urgh. How about one bunny? Is that enough? For four men, three meals, a bunny and a squirrel. Hmm. Is that part of a balanced diet? Is that what the food pyramid looks like these days? You've got your bunnies, then you've got your squirrels, and then you've got your oddly purple grass, and then fats and sugar right at the top. Bess is a man. It stands for... Uh... God, I have no idea. What would a manly version of Bess be? They're well again. Benevolent? That's not a name. Biff, Bart, Boss, Best, Bernie. Oh, we're starving, aren't we? Subscriber, no! Team Subscriber has cholera. 
I'll save you. This squirrel's for you, team subscriber. And that one, and that one, and that one. Oh, it almost is a pyramid, if I can just get one at the top. Or I miss. God damn it, squirrel. You ruined my pyramid. Oh. Seven pounds of meat. Can I trade for meat? That'd be great. Food, food. Fifty. Fifty. Hundred and eighty-four bullets. No. Fifty. Fifty-one. Uh, okay. Hundred fifty-four bullets. Kind of more than I would want to trade, but I have to keep Team Subscriber alive. Because they're starving. Let me just get over the... South Pass. Oops. Well, more food for Team Bess. <laughs> I think this is the worst subscription initiative ever. Hey guys, subscribe to the channel and I can kill you on stream. Yeah, red, green, and pink are still alive. Blue and subscriber have died. Yeah, the subtotal immediately drops to zero. And they just call the police. It's actually a fraud. You took my five dollars and killed me. Well, we've got two meat things. Oh, three meat things, four meat things. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Rain or uh, reindeer, caribou. They're not normal deer. I still don't know what they are. Elk, maybe. A dude in a costume. In the year 2050, we shot that much pounds of meat. We carried back 200. How about we shot 20xx pounds of meat and turn it into a Mega Man game? Bad water. It's not a bear. Magic Conscious spoken. Oh yeah! I remember that playthrough. This is actually a thriller movie and Bess will be the only person to arrive to Oregon. Oop. Why'd our health go down to very poor? Sometimes when your health goes to very poor and you're in the middle of rafting, that's just an indicator that you died. But Team Bess has a fever again. Hopefully it doesn't turn into dysentery. Like the last fever. How do you add XX to a number and make it a Mega Man game? Well, all the Mega Man games are in, like, 1990X or 20XX or something. Oh hey, go figure, they died of dysentery. From a fever. Again. So guys, just some general health advice here. If you ever have a headache, even if it's just a little bit, it's probably dysentery, and yes, you will die. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I figure sometimes it's just better to be informed. Team Red was bitten by a snake. What do I do about that? Rattlesnakes are common along the mm. trail, especially in the mountains and along They the will become very sick and may well die. A rattler, keep your yeah, don't really expect much else to happen. It's okay, we'll rest at Soda Springs. Three days. This kid can take care of you. He's a doctor. That's the face of a doctor if I've ever seen one. Or the face of, like... God. Piece of bacon? I... I have no idea what I'm looking at. This kid's got your back. He'll be fine. Team Red. Come on. Heal from snake bite. How do you even heal from snakebite? I mean, 
You don't get the snake to unbite you. Hmm. Ten pounds of food. Hey, and Team Red is well again. And then they broke their arm. Hey guys, I feel much better. I'm just gonna climb into the wagon and... Oh god, my arm! That's exactly what happened. Also, we're starving. Two bunnies and a squirrel. Shoot everything. Not working out too well. Oh, god damn it. Of course, the instant we run out of bullets is right in front of this. 33 pounds of meat could have been 300. Buffalo! I'll get you next time. I just throw the gun at it. Just run it over with the wagon. Two pounds of meat. At least everything is nice and light for the Snake River Crossing, which is 1,003 feet across. Please explain this to me. Oh, it's explaining what this means. To ford a river means to drive your oxen and wagon across a shallow part. Well, why don't we just go across the shallow part, not the part that's 12 feet deep? That'd make my life much easier. Uh, I don't think we could ford it unless you're all superhumanly tall. Anyway, before we starve to death, let's go hunting one last time. Boop. Animals, no! What good is the animal kingdom if I can't even shoot it? Huh? Two of these, two of these, one of these. Cemetery. Now it's not. Hmm. Come on, buffalo. Eleven hundred and seventy-one pounds of meat. And then this guy comes up out of nowhere. Gives us even more free food. Rest in peace, caffeine dreams. Oh, what was that from? Oh. Well, I guess we'll leave Team Red behind. They can figure it out. And now Team Green is suffering from exhaustion, gets stuck in a blizzard, but it's... Oh, now they're dead. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Well, that was fast. Turns out everything, everything that isn't an obvious disease, is dysentery this whole time. Fever? It's dysentery. Exhaustion? It's dysentery. Well, now we're dead. What do I even write on the epitaph? Bess has forsaken us. Quick scope by dysentery. Broken arm? It's dysentery. Welcome to dysentery. Everything is dysentery. Did I spell dysentery correctly? I have no idea. Dysentery. Yes. Oh, no. Dysentery. With an E. Formerly known as Flux, or the Bloody Flux. Oh. Great. My favorite things. Dysentery. E. Boop. Do you want to save? No. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the organ chat at the bottom, because we have to settle something. And what better place to settle it than the 
Oregon Trail. Now, there's a problem. Alright? The problem is... America is divided. But, this is an issue we may never get over. But maybe we can get over it here on the Oregon Trail. Now, this, this is the problem. My window is frozen. Apparently, we live in a divided country where people do not say carbonated drinks are soda. No, in fact, some say they're all Coke. Some say they're pop. It's not the 50s anymore. We don't call it pop. We call it soda. So, you know, America is a diverse population with diverse soda. And I feel like this is the place to decide what the real drink is and why it's actually soda. Cup of pop. Who says pop? But you know, we're gonna take teams on the Oregon Trail. We're gonna have Team Pop. Actually, to keep it unbiased, I will be at the top so we don't have one team with an unfair advantage. We're gonna have Team Pop, Team Soda, Team Cola, and apparently there are people that just call all soda Coke. So, it's not specifically just Coca-Cola, but according to the map, people say just Coke for every type of carbonated beverage. And I believe those are the four big ones. So, we're going to have Team Pop, Soda, Cola, and Coke. Now we just need to decide on colors for these. I'll color code them in just a minute. I don't get it. I, I can't. I can't imagine not calling it soda. I mean... I think of pop, and it makes me just think, Oh, I'm gonna go down to the malt shop and order myself a pop. Got a root beer float today. Or something. Like, straight out of the 40s. I, I just can't imagine saying pop specifically. So let me go and load this guy up. Switch out the colors. Give me a moment. You were raised to say pop. No, man. It's soda. Soda for life. So red's gonna be pop. Blue's gonna be soda. Green's gonna be cola. Pink's gonna be coke, which makes no sense because coke ought to be red. But... CO2 drank. Alright guys, also I think somebody had subscribed earlier, so thank you for that. I forgot to acknowledge it while I was loading up my thing and being outraged about soft drinks. So change your color to support your team. Red is pop, blue is soda, green is cola, pink is coke. If you wanted to go and just get a generic so- not, not a generic soda. A generic soft drink, to be totally unbiased, what would you call it? Pop, soda, cola, or coke? Now let me just put the last bit of text in here. <laughs> Alright. You call it fizzy water. Uh... I don't think anyone calls it fizzy water. Alright. 
it's happening. I'm gonna be a terrible social media sellout and just tweet this because who knows. Hmm. Okay. Off it goes. And again, change your color to red, blue, green, or pink for pop, soda, cola, or coke. And, uh, let's keep this more or less standard. Let's not go with the Oregon, or the, uh, Oregon randomizer. Let's go in, uh, June. Ten oxen, five sets of clothing, ten of these, one of everything, and 500 pounds of food. Nice, neutral loadout for the Oregon Trail. Let's eliminate some variables here. And, uh... Off we go from Independence, Missouri. Ten oxen, five sets of clothing, 200 bullets, one wagon wheel, axle, and tongue. 500 pounds of food. Who's gonna win? Pop, soda, cola, or coke? Change your color and hop in the game to find out. Will I actually stop when Coke is sick? If you're sick, I will give you at least five days to rest, regardless. How do you choose your color on an iPhone? Looks like you're on Team Soda. <laughs> the right team. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, 500 pounds of soda. Alright. Found some wild fruit. We can make some wild cherry flavored soda. That's a lot of fruit. Surprisingly enough. For my picture, apparently soda is only 20% of the population. We'll see. Seems like all the sodas, or I'm sorry, all the soft drinks are all still in good health. Could be anyone's game. You can't trust me to keep it unbiased. Why? It's not like I think Pop is a silly name. Or Coke. I don't, I don't see the problem, Kazarius. If I push soda in the water, I mean, it's all just soda, or it's all just water anyway. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Just wait until Soda Springs. Oh man, you're right. Even the game is biased. It's not Pop Springs. It's not Coke Springs. Team Cola is sick with typhoid. Is Cola going to be the first to go? We'll find out. You've got five days, Team Cola. There are currently two colas in the chat. Alright, two more days, cola. Look, I, I, I don't want you to die yet. There you go. Team Cola is well again. Is that pink? Uh, it's kind of like a peach, but... Why not? Broken wagon axle. Alright. We bought a spare. Do people seriously call it soda pop? It feels so old-timey. Like, soda pop is a very roundabout way of just saying soda. Yes, people... Okay. Pokemon called it soda pop. That's true. Pokemon's trying too hard to be unbiased. Hmm. I gotta find out. What is soda internationally? Is it one of these? Or is it like a tonic? A phosphate? How, how does that debate carry over in other countries? 
Canada is split on soda and pop. Soft drinks in Australia. If someone says people outside America just simply don't have soda. Well there, now you don't even have a debate. In China, it's called something I will never pronounce correctly. Kele? Kili? I don't know anything about tonal languages. Oh, Team Pop has a broken arm! Shouldn't have shaken them up so much. Guess you could say Team Pop went flat! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha. Oh, oh god damn it, again? Oh, we're good, don't worry. Imagine a Russian person trying to say kill. What? How does that help me pronounce anything at all? Now, broken limbs take about a month to heal, so there's really no point in resting, because they're never going to get better in time. In Sweden, it's called Lask. Lask. Something with an umlaut on an A. I didn't even know you could put umlauts on A's. What happens if you all survive? I'll just have to crash at the uh, river rafting part. Also, my screen is flashing. Hmm. That's weird. Hang on, let me check something. Huh. It's really bizarre. Every now and then, the, um... window is flashing black on me. I didn't know if something was uh, blowing up on my computer. Pop can also mean popular music. Oh wow, I'm learning. The ghost of Bess is haunting me. I'm afraid we're not going to get any food today. Let me close this window in the back and take the hunt timer, turn it back up to two minutes. Even though I might turn into a bloodthirsty maniac by turning up the hunt timer. Pour some soda inside the CPU to cool it off. Let's see. Yeah, random fan noise from computer stuff is probably me. Uh, that's sort of a constant throughout all of my streams. The laptop is really, really trying to stream and play, but every now and then the fan just sort of kicks on. In Korea, it's something that looks like cola. I've, I've no idea. Did the stream crash for anyone else? Should be up. I'm still getting random lines, though. Random portions of my screen flashing black. That's no good. You shot 208 pounds of meat. Hmm. I think my computer's mad at me. Hang on. Let me... Cut back... This... There we go. It's only like 60-something. It's not really that hot. Anyway. Let's see if it's any happier now. Hmm. My laptop is dysentery. I hope not. I don't have any money for another one. Bad water. Bad water is actually just pop, and the good water is soda. You found an abandoned wagon, but there was nothing there. 
<laughs> what did we do? You crashed into the abandoned wagon and broke the wheel. Whoops. My bad. Here lies Tim. Team Tim. Yeah. Tim and subscribers. Apparently 19 oxen is greater than 20 oxen. That's what happened when we had the last uh, drag race playthrough. Despite the fact that uh, we started off with, nine, or, uh, with 20 oxen, we made it even farther than the playthrough with 20. Even if one of them died. Why am I so monotone? I don't know. Also, Team Soda is sick with typhoid. Don't do it, Soda. Soda, I'm gunning for you. You can't. You can't die. Oh, we don't have any food. Soda. Don't you do it. Oh, God. There was a fire at the brewery. 175 pounds of soda. Why didn't we just pour the soda on it? It would have been fine. Come on, Oregon. There's gotta be some food. If... If we don't have any food, that means Team Soda's gonna die. Team Soda can't die. Uh... Hmm. Justice for soda. There's gotta be something soda can eat. Come on, 50 pounds of food. For one set of clothing, sure. Rest, rest, don't go, soda sick. Oh. Don't worry. Team soda is well again. Crisis averted. Now we still need to hunt, though. I'll kill all the other teams only to save Team Soda. I'm not cheating, I'm trying to keep everyone alive the best I can. It just happens that Soda was sick and Soda and I go far back. Can't abandon my carbonated friend. No, you know what? Maybe you're biased. How about that? I don't even drink soda, to be fair. I just drink my dirt tea. Where is Team Fizzy Sugar Water? Afraid it wouldn't fit. Okay, one, two, three, four. All soft drinks should be called Dr. Pepper. What if every soft drink had to be called Dr. Something? Like, instead of it being something cola, it was just Dr. Something, regardless. Dr. Sprite. Dr. Pepsi. Dr. South Pass. Health is very poor. Guess I drank too much soda. I don't know why our health is that bad. Shouldn't be. Dr. Faco. A thief stole 33 bullets. No, oh, that's alright. No water. That's not alright. Dr. Code Red. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Team Pop has dysentery. Live Pop. Thief stole 10 pounds of food. Come on, Pop. You can't die here. Okay, Team Pop as well again. I can't hunt in the fog, though. Oh, Team Pop has Typhoid. It doesn't matter how long you uh, rest in secession. If you just add extra days onto it, you know, if you rest three, then two, it's the same as working five. 
I just don't want to leave the wagon in one place for so long. Look, I'm resting until they get better. Dr. Pop. Hundred ninety five pounds of meat. Here's another two days. And an Indian. Come on, Pop. You've got Native Americans gunning for you. They want you to get better too. One day. Come on. Soda has dysentery. Pop is well again. My man Soda is sick though. Come on, Soda. Health is good, Soda. Come on. No! No! No, I've got nothing left. This playthrough was over. <laughs> um. Nope, that, that didn't happen. Uh. Nope, the... Nope! I... I don't believe this. I think it's a typo. I mean, look at it, that... It doesn't say that. It's... Team Pop... Died of measles. See? I... I don't see the problem. So I, I guess we just have to cross out all the other teams and then turn the game off because Soda's going to win anyway. <laughs> right? See? Game says it right here. Team Pop died of having a dumb name. Very serious disease. So, I, I guess Soda won. The, the end. We did it. Okay, fine. Oops. I didn't mean to actually close the game. There it is. Okay, fine. Team Soda will live on in my heart. Let me just edit font. Format. Font. Strike through. Boop. Team Soda died of measles, but came back to life and went back to New Jersey and hung out at Tim's place where he'd be appreciated. There. See, Team Soda's fine. He's just leaving for a little bit. Hanging out with people that appreciate Soda. Is there a typo? Appreciated. How do you even. What is English? There. I did it. I won't be born for over a century. Well, you know what? It can still come over my house. Team Soda Ghost. No, I'll rest for everyone. I'll keep it fair. I'm not trying to sabotage all the other teams, even though... Even though Soda was the best. Yeah, just ford all the rivers. I don't even care! I just, like, drown everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Soda Memorial Springs. Bad water. Ox is sick. Ox is sick because there's no more soda to give it. <laughs> yeah, now it's the Pop Springs. Is there really 850 people watching this guy play the Oregon Trail? Uh, 843, but yeah, I, I guess. Look, man, the soda debate runs deep. We have to sort it out. Team Coke is a fever. 
Team Coke is running in a river of orange Fanta. There. Come on, Coke. Oh, Coke should probably eat. You demand a recount. According to the map for Pop, Soda, Cola, and Coke, most of the south is, I think, Pop? But there's like this one little area in Florida that just apparently says Coke for everything. But they have to get equal representation and equal rest for W days. Or three. The thief stole 20 bullets. Oops. The south is not Pop. Well. Did I mess it up? I don't remember. I forgot. We've reached the Soda Memorial Springs. I shed a single tear for our fallen comrade. Apparently Alabama is Coke. Specifically. Fort Hall. Who even cares? There's nothing in Fort Hall without soda. Welcome to Coke Springs. Yeah, pour out a soda for our fallen team. Oh, I missed. There we go. Yeah, lost my soda. What'll I do? Pop, Cola, and Coke are still in f uh, poor health. Poor health. We should make our own brand of soda. It'll be Dr. Bad Water. Coming to a supermarket near you, Dr. Bad Water brings all the refreshing taste of measles to your kitchen. Bring it anywhere. Dr. Bad Water is good hot or cold. If the day is clear or warm, you'll enjoy a refreshing glass of Dr. Bad Water. Dr. Dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> I would drink Dr. Dysentery. Doctor, there's someone in the bathroom, and I'm sorry you have to hear that over the mic. Oh, no! Oh, god damn it! Well, we're out of extra wagon tongues. So we're gonna have to get another one. Dr. Flush. We traded one ox for one wagon tongue. I traded this living, breathing animal for a chunk of wood. Perfect. Dr. Flush. You drink too much, Doctor. Oh, Team Pop's a broken leg. Good luck, Pop. Oh no, Team Pop died of the measles. Got those leg measles again, guys. They're ruthless. Team Pop is gone. We have cola or coke. Green and pink. Who is left? Who's gonna make it? Only teams left? Of the two, I would... probably... break the wagon wheel. And likely go for cola? Maybe? I don't think I've ever said cola. Like, my automatic soft drink word is soda, and cola never even enters the equation. No one actually says, give me a cola. It's just fill in, fill in the blank. Give me a blank. And you just fill in whatever that is. Give me a Tim. Team Cola, oh god. Team Cola has cholera. I think there's a bit of a conspiracy here. Because if you cover up some of the letters 
maybe, just maybe, oh, I can't cover it up correctly. All right, something going on here. Team Cola has cholera, but maybe it's actually Cola this whole time. Huh? Oops, I need that L. Conspiracy theory, man. Team Cholera was destined to have col- No, wait, <laughs> got that backwards. Team Cola was destined to have cholera. That's what I meant to say. Give you guys five days to rest. I honk for cola. I should have a team, you know, I should have a team cholera, dysentery, typhoid, and measles next time. Almost there, at the Grand Ronde. Cola and Coke are still alive. What if they die? Like, what if Team Dysentery dies of dysentery? You never know. Team got sick and died. Oh, if that fit, that would be so great. Got sick and died, got sick and died. Yeah, everyone just dies of snake bite. How is there tumbleweed in a blizzard? I don't... No, that's not how this works at all. No, seriously, game. Three tumbleweeds in a blizzard. Four. Five. Do we have six? Six tumbleweeds. And a flush. Seven tumbleweeds. Eight tumbleweeds. I've... Nine. I've never seen this much in a game before. Ten. Eleven tumbleweeds. Can I get twelve? Twelve tumbleweeds. Twelve tumbleweeds. Thirteen, fourteen tumbleweeds. Fifteen, sixteen. Can we get to twenty? I'm out of bullets. Can't shoot any more deer. But are there more tumbleweed? Seventeen tumbleweed. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty? Do we have twenty? Twenty tumbleweed. We've never gotten this many in a game before, ever. I don't know why there's so many here, but... It's gotta count for something. Can we get 21 tumbleweeds? Nope. Not happening. Nope. 728 pounds of meat. With a side tumbleweed salad. Yeah, 420 tumbleweeds. Oh, Joseph McFrank, that's right. He's still dead, by the way. Each bullet turned into a tumbleweed. Every pound of food that spoiled was actually contaminated with tumbleweed. That's what happened. Oh, Team Cola suffering from exhaustion. Don't do it, Cola. Are you going to hand Team Coke the victory? Oh no! Team Cola died of dysentery! Coke is all that's left? That shouldn't happen. Strike through. It's only Coke. That's it. Well, that's assuming I don't hit any rocks on the way to Oregon. But I won't. This channel brought to you by Coke. Coca-Cola. Eat fresh.
whatever their logo is. Let me just... There we go. It's our Coke overlords. Stream sponsored by Coca-Cola. There. I've been fiddling with my stream format a little bit, and I think this is a good idea for everyone. Gets across the branding, and also makes it a better experience for you, the viewer, and reminds you to stay hydrated with a delicious and refreshing Coca-Cola. I'm not allowed to sink the wagon with Coke on board. It's against my corporate sponsorship. <laughs> Could you imagine if that were actually a marketing campaign? It's like, look kid, we need you to put our product in the Oregon Trail, and you only can say nice things about it. That's it. Just a really bizarre guerrilla marketing. Can I get in trouble for advertising a product that hasn't given me permission? How would that even work? You bastard! How dare you say good things about Coke! Gonna get a call from our lawyers. Well guys, at the end of the day, every team died, except for our glorious Coca-Cola, which somehow was the only remaining team. So, I, apparently soft drinks are not called pop, nor soda, nor cola. It's Coke. Exclusively. And Pepsi doesn't exist. They have been crushed by their Coca-Cola gods. Well, that happened. So the real thing is, now we've got to try out the Oregon Trail 2. Oh, two in good health. The other one was me. I was filling up the top spot. Uh, whoever's in the top spot doesn't get sick until everyone else dies, and I figured, you know, if you put one of the teams up there, they would have an unfair advantage. So, I'll take the spot. I'll take the fall. I'll take the nice, cushy position of power. Don't worry about it. So, now, I was gifted the Oregon Trail 2, which I've never played. I know it should work. I think it should work, at least. So give me a moment. And... I guess, uh... We will give this a shot. I'm not sure how much longer this is compared to the Oregon Trail I was playing, but... We will see. Oh. Uh... the thing I had to click. I've already forgotten. Hang on. I know this works. One second. Yeehaw! Ladies and gentlemen, the Oregon Trail 2. Here we go. Oh, and also broke the chat. Uh, okay, fun fact, you don't actually need to install it. I'm not going to install it. Um, I'm going to A, update my Coke sponsorship. I'm going to go to the dashboard and just change the now playing game. Oregon Trail 2! Update. Update successful! Woo. Update my Coke sponsorship to Coke Sellout. Alright. Let me just... I think the data... There it is. Boop. 
Give it a sec. There. The Oregon Trail 2. A game I've never played before. Apparently, this is the Oregon Trail that many people have played. Uh, this is donated to me by Renard Rue in the chat. The game apparently survived a flood, which is why I can't open the instruction manual. It's all sort of stuck together. But I do know it runs on Windows 3.1. And it comes with a free trial of AOL, which I don't think works on Windows 7. Alright, well, let's give this a shot. Your guess at how this works is as good as mine, but it's got an option for speech, which you can't see. Simulation speed. Medium. Oh, okay. About the Oregon Trail 2. It's made by this guy. My processor's a Pentium. I've got that. That's my block. However, I only have negative one billion free memory available, so that might pose a problem. Not sure. Also, negative two RAM. And this guy... <laughs> Hello, this is your computer. Ah, uh, stop clicking back to me, kid. Now I'm snow. What? What am I? Rocks. That's in the game. All right. I do need to download more RAM. If only. A uh, new game. Okay. The Trail Journal of... Hmm... I guess we should just have teams. Just straight up teams again. I would make it diseases only, but um... The thing is... I don't know what diseases are in this. So, give me a minute. Let me get the... Oregon thingy up, the Oregon chat, throw that at the bottom. This is all new to me, so give me a moment. We've got like different generations of the game just clashing. Okay. So I guess change your color in the chat to red, blue, green, or pink, and you can join. How many spaces are there? Not enough. All right, Tim and subscribers can be up at the top. A greenhorn, an adventurer, or a trail guide. I don't know the difference. Um. I'm a trail guide. To be fair, I've played a lot of the Oregon Trail, just not this one. Be an adventurer. Okay, fine. Formerly a... Oh, wow. Banker, doctor, merchant, pharmacist, Wainwright, gunsmith, mason, trapper, teacher. Yeah. Uh, when do we want to leave? We can leave in February. I could be an artist. Okay, fine, I'll be an artiste this time. Maybe I could just be an art teacher, just split the difference. Uh, when do you want to leave? Do, 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 you. Death is not a month. You, Greenhorn, not a month. You, February. Oh god, we're doomed. Maka198 says. February, so February it is. Uh, years. Um, I have no idea. 1860. Set out from Independence, St. Joseph, Nauvoo, or Council Bluffs. I guess Independence, I know where that one is. To start a new life in Oregon City, Sacramento, Salt Lake City, or Jacksonville. 
Uh, I can't deal with all this choice. Sacramento? Okay. So why is it even the Oregon Trail for going to Sacramento? Uh, Conestoga wagon? Would you want a tiny little wagon? Uh, an average wagon or a absolutely massive wagon? Small, small, small. Station wagon. Chat says small. Small it is. Here's our dinky wagon. Accompanied by five people? Oh, I can just have subscribers on their own team then. Okay. Team red. Team blue. Team green. This is also new. Also, team green's got to be one word. Team green. Team pink. Subscriber. All right. Now the ages. I'm going to go into random.org for this, because I don't think there's a democratic way to pick everyone's age. Everyone, you could all be five years old. I'm accompanied by a bunch of babies. There. <laughs> no one does anything. I'm just a single dad with five children. Alright, uh, let me get the random number generator. It goes from 5 to 65. So between 5 and 65... Uh, let me capture this. Hang on. Between 5 and 65, Team Red's gonna be... 40... Okay. Team Blue is going to be 13. Team Green is going to be also 13. Uh, Pink's going to be 30. And Team Subscriber is going to be 48, which rounds to 50. All right. And so it is. Also, I broke the window. Uh, it's all just screwed up. And There. Oh. There we go. So red is 40 years old. Blue and green are 13. Pink is 30. And team subscriber is 50 years old. You're an artist who has come to independence in 1860 for the purpose of setting off on a journey west to Sacramento. Okay. As I wander the streets of Independence, you'll see stores that provide you with stuff. That's new? Hello. What do I... The merchants here oh, in God. town offer basic packages of supplies, uh, based on the size of one's party and estimated length of journey. The fact that of no course, one moves but their mouth is really or terrifying. Or add to the basic set. So, uh -huh. which package would you like? I don't know. Uh... Um... I'm, I'm good, thanks. Where do I... Dry goods. Alright. This looks like a place. <laughs> Pounds of bacon. I could buy a banjo, I could buy an axe, I could buy a bunch of ammonia. Alright, let's, let's get one banjo. Uh, how much bacon can I fit in this wagon? Hundred pounds of bacon. <laughs> Only bacon. Uh, one axe. We have a lot of money. To be honest. I'll purchase that. Who's this guy? Hello, friend. Oh my god. I can't... I can't get over this. And have you met to form the council that'll provide guidance? Hello, friend. <laughs> Say, has your wagon train formed yet? And have you met <laughs> the council <laughs> <that will provide laughs> and on your long journey? Uh, 
so long. City Butcher. Ah, uh, the Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe attorneys. Oldest lawyer joke in the book. Oh, cows make noise. Great. Uh, I want to buy more stuff. Guess we need a gun. What do you think about guns? Uh, bullets? 30 boxes, that uh, might be too many. 10's probably good. Gunpowder? <laughs> what am I gonna do with the keg of gunpowder? <laughs> I guess we could blow up the wagon if we really get stuck. 12 shotguns. 7 shotguns is almost all the money. Do I need a sack of shot? Not if I get a rifle. Uh, three rifles. Two rifles. All right. Thanks, mister. And maybe a pistol. Just to be safe. Got a laser sight. Pharmacy? Medicine. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa. Hang on. Allspice, aloe vera, borax, brandy? Please. I want to max out my brandy. Alright. Medicine. Camphor, castor oil, Duffy's elixir, iodine, hydrogen peroxide. That sounds handy. Iodine sounds handy. Dandelion? Do you really want Ipecac? You're just gonna vomit everywhere. Isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. James's fever powder. Sure. Peppermint. Why not? Olive oil. Sure. Quinine. Sarsaparilla. Sassafras. More gallon jugs of whiskey. 18 gallons, please. Uh, I guess if you get really hard up, you can drink some turpentine. Uh, and I think we're at the end. Sadly, I haven't seen coffee yet. Take one of everything and hope for the best. Uh, I've already bought one wagon. I should buy... I guess a spare yoke? An axle... A wagon cover, sure. Oh. I don't have any oxen. Now I have nine. Boop. Uh. Why can't I... There we go. I can buy horses? What am I gonna do with a horse? It's 90 bucks. I could buy a mule for half the price. This is actually kind of interesting. I'm not used to having this much freedom. What's that? Outfitters. Uh, I just want exclusively dresses, please. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, dresses and skirts. Alrighty. It's fashion. Hats. Okay, sure. Five hats. Five mittens. Five long underwear. Boop. Thank you. What else? Coffee! Oh, please. 150 pounds of coffee beans. Cheese? Sure. 10 pounds of cheese. Pounds of candy. 17. Uh... Put whiskey in the coffee, in the candy, in the butter. Drad beans, drad bread, drad fruit, drad vegetables. I guess... Some of this... 
I, I think this is all going to immediately spoil. Maple syrup, yeah! Canada. Slabs of lard. Yes, please. Pounds of ham. Uh, honey? That doesn't really go bad. Potatoes? Preserved potatoes? Which are... Oh, I was gonna say cheaper, then I realized the unit price is different. 25 pound keg of pickle. Sure. <laughs> I would like... 125 pounds of pickles, please. Salted pork? Alright. 75 pounds of that. Rice? Rhubarb? Smoked salmon? 40... Oh, I can't. Oh! That's all my money. One pound of tea. No. I can't afford any tea. I bought too many pickles. Oh, I bought too much rice. Okay. We've bought all of this. Our wagon... <laughs> okay, this is what we're going to travel on the Oregon Trail with. One axe, a hundred pounds of bacon, a banjo, twenty or two hundred bullets, a keg of gunpowder, two rifles, a pistol, Seven bottles of brandy, three bottles of peroxide, two of iodine, two of ipecac, three of isopropyl alcohol, two of James Fever powder, two olive oils, two peppermints, three sarsaparillas, four sassafrases, four turpentines, 18 gallons of whiskey, one spare piece, a spare wagon color, 24 dresses, 20 skirts, five hats, five pairs of long underwear, five pairs of mittens, 17 pounds of candy, 10 pounds of cheese, 150 pounds of coffee. Ten five-pound sacks of fruit, 250 pounds of vegetables, 35 pounds of ham, 8 times 16 jars of honey, 5 times 50 pound slabs of lard, 12 tins of maple syrup, 5 25 pound kegs of pickles, 20 sacks of rhubarb, 75 pounds of salt pork, 30 pounds of tea, 9 oxen, and 1 small wagon. <laughs> Why didn't the game say, no, just, just stop. You can't do this. <laughs> I still have money left. Um, I, I guess we go. Everyone's in good health. And I'm feeling good. Uh, I, is there just stuff I could buy? Oh, funeral parlor. <laughs> uh, it's already at the general store, I think. Oh, wait, I could buy more. Candles? Yeah, sure. We can tell ghost stories. Five dozen candles. One butcher knife. Uh, ten pounds of butter. A butter churn. Uh, some canteens. Cast iron stove. A compass? Yeah, that sounds handy. A coffee pot. Two coffee pots. A coffee mill. Um, yeah, playing cards, two Dutch ovens, a flute, a fishing pole, a fishing net, fishing spear, a frying pan, 25 cents a pop, how could I not buy them? A guitar, can I afford a hammer? I cannot. Spent all my money on guitars. We can only have two canteens. So I can afford... a hammer. Okay. We officially have seven cents left. I think it's time to go. Oh dear. Before setting out, you need to pick a wagon train to travel with. Do I want to go with the one that has 20 wagons and 74 people, 16 wagons and 55 people, or 33 wagons and 111 people? Effectively, do I want to go with more people or fewer people? The middle, train two. Alright. Independence. Off we go.
Westport. Morale is high. That's because I spent all the money on coffee. What do you do? You just... Go into town. I don't know. How are you? Hello. 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 That doesn't really tell me anything. Howdy. Howdy. Hey. Say, you're not from around here, are you? No. Tell me more. Oh, I bet you're with that wagon train that's passing through. You folks are more than welcome to stock up on supplies here. Pardon? Oh, I bet you're with that wagon train that's passing through. So you long. Folks are more than welcome to stock up on supplies. What are we doing wasting time <laughs> here? Let's get a move on. Why did they only video capture the faces? Tell me more. What more is there to tell? We didn't come all this way to sit here and look at the sights. Do you have any advice? We've still got many a mile ahead of us. The best Pardon? Advice. We've still got many a mile ahead of us. Pardon? We've still got many a mile ahead of us. Huh? We've still got many a mile ahead of us. What, you... We've still got many a mile ahead so of long. us. So long. The best advice I can offer. This guy looks like he wants to talk. I see you're going west by wagon. I sure hope you got extra sets of clothing. I've got loads of dresses. Glory be, more emigrants. There seems <laughs> to be more you folks heading west every day. I am so excited. Look at my face. Ugh. How did I end up in this game? God. Forgive my suspicions, but you don't have any ruffians among you, do you? A few weeks back, yep. the party came through. Actually, our party is just full of ruffians. They tore up the local saloon and right terrorized some of the people here. They really terrorized this. This is how shaken up I am. The Undertaker. I can't go. Well, I guess we continue. You've been elected captain! But where did... Who are you? Who are any of you? <laughs> Thanks. Um... I don't, I don't think there is music. Oh. I'll be damned, there is. This kid comes out of nowhere and elects you captain. I'll take... Oh! Extreme cold. What do I do? Do I continue slow down? I want advice on the cold. I recommend that we Who are you? Wagon train for a time being and warm ourselves around the campfires. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I will halt the wagon train. It's snowing. Time to leave. The music is sketchy. Got to say. <laughs> I really like this so far. I'm to talk to this person. I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovic. What? what? Pardon? I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovic. What? I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovic. I will never pronounce that. Family is going to the big valley in the west where there is so much good land. Do you have any advice? At the next hills or mountains we come huh? to, we will share with another wagon to do what they call double teaming animals. Maybe that will work well for you. Sounds like it'd get me arrested. Would you like to trade? I'll trade you for lard. No, I'm good. Out of here. New Santa Fe. God, this music is so upbeat. I love it. What's in New Santa Fe? Wait, the coffee saloon? Oh, I can't go in. Oh god, this guy's here again. Ah, greetings, my good friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Brogan Kavanaugh. I am Dr. I don't blink. For my marvelous miracle elixir. Okay. Which continents? North America, Europe, and another one whose name escapes me at the moment. I'm reading off a script. Just one spoonful of my miracle elixir every morning will guarantee you against huh? cholera, dysentery, huh? measles, huh? smallpox, huh? frostbite, huh? gangrene, and sundry other maladies. That sounds pretty good. Buy a bottle or two of my miracle elixir. All right. That's the best possible advice I can give anyone. Oh, excuse me, I have to run. I just remembered an important engagement. <laughs> Pardon? Buy a bottle or two. Oh, I'm done. I can't even buy it. How about you? How you doing? Whoa. How you doing? How you doing? How, 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 how you doing? Did they just think no one's gonna click on this guy? Morning. Morning. 
So like, you take that guy's voice, and this guy's voice, and you put them together, and you just get like, an average dude's voice together. Say, you folks heading out on the trail. Be sure to check your supplies often. I'm the guy from American Gothic. If you're near to running out of essentials, you can usually buy more. Nah, I figured. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. How you doing? Howdy. <laughs> How many ways can they make them say hello? Howdy. How you doing? Drugstore. Oh, I already have all this stuff. Some of it, at least. Oh, I could have bought tobacco, but I only have seven cents. That's not happening today. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> I could buy one bottle of sulfur. That's true. Let's go do it. What drugs can I get for seven cents, man? Anything? No, I can't. It doesn't even let you. Even though I do have seven cents, I cannot buy a bottle of sulfur. <laughs> Why don't you take my money? That's sales tax. Extreme cold. Why did we leave in February? What? Stop and rest in this here freezing water. Why are you asking me? Heck, if you ask me, we better keep moving. I've never seen you before in my life. I. Let's quicken the pace. That'll keep us warm. That's a terrible Maybe idea. We can find some shelter further down the road. What's my council say? What? I recommend that we halt the wagon train for a time being. I recommend I'm gonna say this every time you talk to me. Uh, slow down. Where's the hunt button? I just realized I don't know how to do that. Hunt this person. What's this do? It's the party health. Diary. It is mighty cold today. We're going to slow down. Hello. I am writing in the diary. How do I hunt? Help me. Click the animals on the map. Oh god. A practical guide to over-the-top fonts. I'll talk to you. Howdy, friend. Fine day, isn't it? least as fine as one can expect right now hereabouts. Howdy. Be warned. Don't dig a water hole. Okay. Drink only river water. Hmm. Salty as some of these rivers are, it's better than the cholera. We buried my husband just last week. You can tell I am broken up about this due to the emotion in my voice and face. You know, this is an exact piece of dialogue from my copy of the Oregon Trail. hunt. I don't think you can. H to hunt? Click the wagon. Oh! <laughs> Turn around, we're done. There is no hunting in this area. Thanks, little Macintosh face. I really love this music. It's so cheery. Close. There we go. What's in Lawrence? Is that the guy saying that? Howdy. Oh. Howdy. Howdy. Is that all they say? How you doing? Hey. How you doing? Hello. Howdy, folks. Welcome to our fair city. All right. We'd be right pleased to have you take advantage of our various businesses and services. What can I get with seven cents? We have a general store. Well, okay, general store. Got it. Hello. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> Let's go to the surgeon. Howdy. I'm Duncan Gipps, one of All the right. few physicians you're liable to find twixt here in the Great Salt Lake. Howdy. If you people are in need of a doctor, I'll be glad to help. Do you have any advice? Whatever you do. 
Don't take that road they call a Hastings cutoff. Right. There's been nothing but death and misery for everyone who's traveled it. Pardon? Whatever you do. No, I'm good. Hey, can I touch your scale? Oh. Howdy. I just want to buy something with my seven cents. Take the Hastings cutoff. Okay. I could buy one pound of bacon. Uh, molasses, pepper. Uh, I think that might be it. Do we want more bacon, molasses, or pepper? Chats is bacon. One pound of bacon it is. We have one penny. Off we go. All the teams are still okay. It's just cold. Team Red is freezing. Hmm. What's Team Red gonna do? Feed patient warm food. Okay, Red, I'm gonna feed you. Subscribers is freezing. <laughs> Let's build a fire. Everyone's in good health. I guess we're all fine. Topeka. Hello. Whoa. Hello. Hello. How drunk can I get for one penny? Oh. I should start drinking some of this whiskey. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Hi there. <laughs> hmm. I guess there's not really a whole lot to do. Well, I just finished checking my supplies, and I can't say we're really in need of much of anything. Tell me more. I think I'll mosey over to the store they got here and see if there's anything I can use. All right, let's abandon this guy. I don't like him. How do I... How do I exit? There it is. Team Red died! Wait, what? It doesn't... It doesn't even have sad music, it just happens. <laughs> cheery music just floating around in the background. Well... Um... Do we bury them, or just dump them off the bed? Sorry, Red, just... <laughs> Are you sure you may wish to continue without providing a proper burial? There may be serious consequences. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Zombies. I want to find out what happens. Oh no, <laughs> subscribers! <laughs> um... How is this all happening? <laughs> You were all in good health a minute ago. Uh. I'll bury subscribers. <laughs> Do I want to cross the Kansas River crossing on the ice? <laughs> um. I'm good. Blue is okay. Across the ice, oh god. Oh, we're good. The grip. Team Green, no. I could give them vinegar or quinine. I don't have any of these. I'll increase your fluid intake with our whiskey. What's the guide say? Disease. I have no idea. Extreme cold. Let's wait. How long are we waiting? Oh god. Uh, conditions have not improved. Oh, green makes it out okay. 
You think this version's less educational. It's really upbeat, which is weird, because everything keeps going wrong. Yeah, what's happening in St. Mary's mission? <laughs> Someone's late 90s cell phone ringtone. I don't have any money. How much coffee can I get for a penny? Music's really off-putting. Anyway, back to the happy music. Hello. Oh, it's a cat. I thought it was a really big beaver. The Red Vermilion River. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced it's gonna be frozen. Right? Yeah, okay, it didn't break. Oh, extreme cold! No, I quickened the pace last time and Team Red died. Kicking you off. Ford the ice. Things went wrong because Red and subscribers were guys and I only bought dresses in the freezing weather. Well, you know, they could have worn them. They could have worn the dresses and skirts I bought. It's the Oregon Trail. You don't have the right to be picky. Check supplies. Oops. We still have one axe, one banjo, two rifles, a pistol. Haven't gone hunting yet. Let's try that. Uh. When do I. Hmm. Oh god. Uh. Well, the ducks are a lot bigger. Reload. Wait. How do I shoot off the screen? Oh! <laughs> there actually... There actually is a reload button. I'll be damned. I don't think there's anything here, though. Probably because it's February. I'm assuming unlike the first Oregon Trail I played, you can't just hunt a billion buffalo. Nope. I don't know what I just shot. But now I'm eating it. One pound of game. Okay. Scott Spring. Who's singing in the shower? I... A guy that lives in my summer housing unit. I... I don't know. Who's around? Scott Spring. <laughs> Hello, I've been waiting here for days hoping someone would talk to me. Nah, I'm done. Bye, Scott. Team Green is frostbite. Rub the affected area with snow. <laughs> what? Yep, that's the advice. I'll just rub you guys in snow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm helping. Are they still sick? No, they're good. Everyone's in good health. There, see? If you have frostbite, rub it with snow and you all get better. <laughs> Blizzard. The snow's falling so fast, we can't see where we're going. Let's stop for a while. Okay. Can't make much progress in weather like this. It would be risky to continue until the snow lets up. All right. I'm not sure what we should do. <laughs> it's awful hard to travel in all this snow, but if I don't, don't know anything, moving, we could wind up snowbound. Uh, that face. Look at this man's face. This this expression is just. I don't want to be here. Get me out of here. How did I get in this game? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll wait. No! Oh! Blue's got the grip. Increase fluid intake. You'll be fine, Blue. Alcove spring. Shower noises in the background. 
Who's around here? You. I think it's time we be moving on now. <laughs> are you just... Are you just the dude that stands in the middle of nowhere and you talk to her and says, Get lost. Too many people at the river. <laughs> what do I do about that? I reckon the only thing we can do right now is wait our turn to cross. We could shoot our way through. With this here gun. Patience. Patience. Worrying about it won't do no good. Freaking out, man! the river when our time comes. I'm going hunt to hell, I can't. If we got here sooner, we wouldn't have had to wait so long. If I didn't talk to you this time, I wouldn't have had to wait this long either. Big Blue River. Ice isn't gonna break, right? Why are we walking on the river? Do I have food left? Uh... Let's see... I've got 18 gallons of whiskey. Uh, all the clothing. 150 pounds of coffee beans. Now I have 17 pounds of candy, 10 pounds of cheese, we'll be fine. We got maple syrup, lard, vegetables. <laughs> That's a balanced diet. Butter. Yeah, we're good. I wouldn't worry. Let me go hunt. Haven't done that in a little while. I didn't buy enough bacon. Oh. Yeah. I don't think there's any buffalo here. Hmm. When do we get to fish? I guess at the rivers. I haven't tried that. Oregon to... Or Oregon Trail 2 is sort of strange, but at the same time, it's really fun, all the different things you can do. All this freedom. Oh, damn it. I'm used to, the, like, the Oregon Trail 1 gun, which just shoots a dozen times in a row. There, you're dead now. Is this better than the original? Oh, I think it kind of is. There's more stuff. It's more freedom. Although... I think that might have been the only animal left. Animals rarely appear after you shoot once. That would make sense. Hmm... Eh, whatever. Animal bite. I've been bitten by a mountain lion? Increase rations. Feed on my body. <laughs> what do I do? I should have shot it. Rub snow on it. I guess antiseptic. Um. Who's here this man i don't know which way we should go i figured you would <laughs> oh uh that one i'm helping the hollenberg ranch <laughs> the music inside the places is always really unsettling i don't have a mustache Can I buy anything with a penny? Nope. I'll just be going then. <laughs> Anyone around? This guy. I sure would like to stop here for a bit. I hate that rabbit. I could use some fresh supply. Too bad. We don't have any money. Extreme cold. Again. Rock Creek Station. Visit the station. Visit this extremely blurry man. Uh... I can't buy anything. Who's around here? This guy. When the white man first crossed our lands, right. the wagons were few. 
Now they crowd the trail in great numbers. I'm reading this off a script. Oh, wait. Oh. Tell me more. That how we ruined America. The land is overgrazed with their many animals. Sorry. Do any white men still live in the east? Nope, no one. My people, the Kanza, talk of moving. Pardon? The land is overgrazed. Huh? The land is over. Yeah. The land is overgrazed. Have any advice with for animals. how I can stop being Do any so white awful? Men still no. I have nothing more to say. No, 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 no. No, well, I'm done looking around. Blizzard again. Ah, <laughs> oh, just defog the window and keep going. Team Green is freezing. I will stop and build a fire. Team Blue has frostbite. I guess we probably... <laughs> I love how one of the options is rub it with snow. <laughs> Why would you ever think that's the right idea? Rub snow on it. Okay. I'm helping. Well, it worked the first time. It's March now. Team Pink has a bad cold. Also looks like this guy. Administer olive oil? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would that help? Administer olive oil. I need to inject <laughs> reason. <laughs> Go and fry him, that's how you take care of it. The Narrows. Who's around? You. I say we continue on our way. Okay, fine. Oh, he's turned into this man. I think we ought to keep going. Time is a wasting. Let's get out. I am a stereotype. I think it's time we be moving on. I say we continue on our way. Thanks, Sarah Palin. I think we ought to. Time is a. I think it's. I say we. Okay, fine. Extreme cold. Oh God, I thought that map was like here to there, and this is Oregon. I didn't realize the map would go into a new one. Eh, slow down. Oh, there's a little blue river. No meat, oh. I'll fix that. Why am I so bad at this? Huh? Is there like a reload button? That would be really great. Wait, shift? Oh, it's enter! Okay. You have to lead in this. Oh! Now I know. Turns out hunting is harder in this. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't see the bullet, which makes it really difficult. Bacon is not meat. Wait, enter just moves. I don't know what I'm doing. How long is that shower? I... I don't know. You, you want to come over and yell at him? I think we might end up dying. That is a really long shower, to be fair. We don't have that kind of luxury in the Oregon Trail. Anything? Yeah, Team Red is dead. Team Sub is dead as well. Oh. Oh, God damn it! that's not the reload button. This game really needs light gun support. Hey, I shot a thing. Two bullets left. Oh, I'm out. 165 pounds, there we go. <laughs> what am I listening to? 
Oh, the 32 miles station. I will visit the station. No oh, Christmas tree. Oh, that's not the song. Team Pink is only in fair health. Sorry to say. Oh, oh that's right. Exit. Extreme cold. This game is a lot longer than the other one, isn't it? <laughs> Quote unquote, the coast of Nebraska. What do you think about this? I think we ought to keep going. I think. Fine. I just wanted to be your friend, man. Oh man, Fort Carney with other music. It's really weird. Who's at Fort Carney? Oh, these people don't talk. Oh, hang on. Howdy, neighbor. We made a mistake in calculating the flower we'd need. All right. What do you think? Howdy. I'm one of the regulars here at the fort. <laughs> I'm here for the adventure and the steady pay. The conditions is right. tolerable, and I can send a bit of money home to my mom. You've got a really flat head. Tell me more about your mother. I've been here since last spring. For that, right. I was part of a troop down by Santa Fe. We travel out most days. Check Give me a You might take advantage of this place to rest a while. Okay. Looks like as good a place as any to lay by a day and put up some fresh supplies. It does. Let's leave. Hey, oh. what say you we have ourselves a wing day? That is not the voice it's I thought would come out of this kid. Time since we've had a regular oh, wow. What? <laughs> Do I want a wingding and a fandango? Will I do the fandango? I will do the fandango. You know what they say, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And we oh. sure have been working hard out on the trail. Bah, 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 bah. Yes. We should take it easy more. Enjoy ourselves. Okay. I'm going to go and see some of the others and see if and they don't feel the same way. But wait, we never even did the fandango. How do I leave? Oh. Click on the flag. <laughs> He's talking about drugs. I know where you can get some real pure Fandango. Morale is high. Clearly, Plum Creek just fills everyone with happy thoughts. I tried to reload with Enter, but Enter started then moving. I think enter just triggers the thing you hit last. Uh, what's here? <laughs> what do you think? Ain't got no need to stop here. Ain't got no need to stop here. Oh god. These accents. No. Oh. Abandoned wagon. Ignore it. Or search for something useful. Hmm. Let's pillage the wagon. You found one fishing net, one fishing pole. And zombies. I want to rub the abandoned wagon on the frostbite. Oh, Fallon's Bluffs. Howdy, I'm looking for my cat <laughs> Molly. Have you seen her? Also my parents, but mostly my cat. No. Tell me more about your cat. We hear there ain't many cats out west yet, and some right. folks will pay good money for one, so they can catch the mice and rats. Oh. We're hoping Molly will have lots of kittens that we can sell. We had a milk cow, but she died <laughs> a while back. Now all Molly's got to eat is our meat scraps. Okay. What about you? My dad burned wagon wheel broke a ways back and My dad the burned the wagon. <laughs> this is terrifying. Just a little bit. Dust storm. No grass and morale is high. Uh We had better stop and wait for this dust storm to die down. Alright. Can't see a thing in front of me. What does everyone else say? Glory be, I've never seen nothing like this sandstorm. 
Alright. I don't see how we can keep Can keep going. Just despite you. I'm the leader. We go. Buffalo Stampede? Uh Well that sounds like a perfect opportunity to go and do stuff. so bad at this. Then we don't need to lead your shot at all. We just shoot them. Just aim for the head. There you go. Yeah, just, just shoot the head and you're good. You shot 2,058 pounds of game. You were only able to carry back 208. That's an improvement. Eight bonus pounds. Wagon stuck in the mud. Did they just not put this in mud? They just sort of like photoshopped some mud onto it? Double team the animals. I don't know what that means. Team Pink is a bad cold. Administer the olive oil. South Platte River. Do I have an option to fish? No. I don't think I do. I know what double team means in the context of Pokemon, but not in this game. Not the bear. I'm sorry, six pack abs. But he was delicious. Uh, oops. Oh no! Our oh, we lost our one keg of gunpowder. Our iodine, our sassafras. No, not the wagon. How are we gonna blow the wagon up now? What do I even do at California Hill? Just go. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> Abandon the injured animal. What do I do? <laughs> I could just leave him there. I'm not allowed to eat it. Nah, I'll continue. We'll be fine. Now the music's just really I don't know, the music has turned into like, oh, Oregon isn't fun anymore. I can't turn back, I really screwed this up. Lock the wheels and continue. Oh, now it's happy. What do you think about the Ash Hollow? I think it's time we be moving on now. Okay, fine. Yeah, morale is very high. Or, just normal high. Courthouse and Jail Rocks. What do you think about this? Let's keep going. Uh. <laughs> boop boop. Let's keep going. Okay, I will. God. Do we still have our coffee? Did we lose that? Oh, we lost two dresses and four skirts! Oh, we still have coffee, we still have a coffee pot. Alright, we're good. Jimmy Rock. Let's move on. That's the kid from my version of the Oregon Trail, just grown up. Scott's Bluff. Time is a wasting. Let's get out. <laughs> Mitchell Pass. Sure. No one says anything. Just, hey, this place sucks, keep going. I'm glad morale is high, because I didn't spend a whole lot of money on food. Oh, God. The Laramie River. 
It's three feet deep. What do you say about this? Can I take the bridge? You know, this riverbank makes for a good rest in place. I don't think so. I say we ought to float across this here river. Okay. If you ask me, this river is much too deep to float. I didn't ask you. I guess we're gonna caulk it. Oh. We won. Do I want the Oregon Trail or the Mormon Trail, which is going the opposite direction? <laughs> what if they just made a game called the Mormon Trail? What would that even be? I don't know where I'm going! <laughs> Wait! No! I don't want to be back here. Double team the animals. No, stop! That's a mistake, I didn't mean it. No, turn the wagon around. <laughs> okay, let's take the Oregon Trail this time. Team Green is near starvation. Go hunting. You do not have any gunpowder. Oh. Oh. That's unfortunate. I... How do I... I don't even have the option to kill an animal then. Gotta trade for gunpowder, I guess. Sure, that's a deal. Now I'll go hunting. Got it. 369 pounds of food. Register cliff. That looks exciting. Trade for bacon. I didn't download the Oregon Trail. Somebody mailed me this copy of the Oregon Trail, too. No vegetables. No fruit. Oh, no. Oh, the natural bridge. Who's around? Let's move on. Okay. But it's cool. I think it's time we be moving on. You. You have to think this is really a neat thing. I say we continue on our way. No. Why does no one think that's cool? Wait, who's that? Ah, more wagon people. Are oh. you here to slaughter more buffalo like the group that passed by four days ago? Oddly enough, yes. I'd never seen such waste. They killed <laughs> ten times what they needed for food. Oh, that sounds like me. most of the carcasses to rot. Yep, that, that's me. Luckily, after the coyotes had finished with them, we gathered the bones to make tools. Do you have any advice? If you must kill for food, good. I love but killing. Don't kill any more than that. The well-being of our people depends on the buffalo. Would you like to trade? I've got buffalo. You know, the term wagon people is actually really offensive. Mormon Ferry Trading Post. <laughs> I don't have any money. Also, this gun is massive. Who's around? I am a Nunaina, whom right. you call the Arapaho. Okay. My name is Whitehawk. But I thought it was a Nunaina. I'm waiting here for my son, who is trading nearby. Tell me more. Long before we ever saw wagon people like you, a rare white hawk perched on a rock mm. near my father's teepee. I took okay. it as a sign for my new name, and ever since has it been changed. I called myself Father's Teepee. The men here are fair traders, not like many others my son and I- Ma'am, done with you. Oh god! Team Green has suffered a concussion? Keep the patient very active. I- Wake up, Team Green! Just sit there and shake them. I gotta pour another mug of tea, hang on. Treat them with snow. The Emigrant Gap. Fine scenery round these parts. Yeah, it's grass. Say, how's it going, friend? I'm doing just fine now that I got me four oxen instead of just two. All you need is a better suit. Well, I thought I was done for back. Are you headed for California? Are you headed for? Are you headed? I. 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 I Buffalo Stampede. I'm not gonna miss this time. There. 
Oh, you know, I just realized the last time there was a buffalo stampede, I shot ten times the amount of meat I needed, so maybe they were talking about me. Willow Springs. What do you think about this place? Good to see you, friend. You know, I spent some time out west, and right. now I'm traveling back east to fetch my family. Tell me more. Hope you're prepared. You'll be seeing quite a bit of the elephant further on. What? Since your animals is already hurry along, but don't push your animals. Can I shoot the elephants? We don't have elephants in the U.S. Independence Rock. Hey there. Say, guess what? I don't know. Tell me. I carved my name. Way oh my God. Independence Rock. Yeah, oh my true. god. There are hundreds of names It's... There. It's him! Were carved by mountain men and it's it's the kid! Famous name from the first Peter, game! Bonneville and Desmet. It's... <laughs> it's exactly the same kid! <laughs> with the same exact dialogue. <laughs> That's so weird. Do you have any advice? Yeah, go on up and carve your own name. Be a... Yeah, go... Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe it. Devil's Gate. Heavy fog. Ah, eh, whatever. Broken wagon tongue. Oops. How do I get a wagon tongue? 102 pounds of coffee beans. 7 dresses. 10 dresses. 1 rifle. 14 dresses. 1 rifle. 18 dresses. 20 dresses. 1 rifle. 4 oxen. 22 dresses?! How am I haggling that badly? No, I'm... I'm not thinking seven dresses. No, I'm not thinking ten dresses. I'm not thinking twenty-two dresses. No! The other way! No, not... No. One ox, one rifle, two oxen. Twenty-one dresses. <laughs> This person is really angry. I want 148 pounds of meat and no more. Fine. Now we have no meat, no fruit, no vegetables. Don't worry. You can count on my hunting skills. Haggling means give them more money. Clearly. I have two rifles, but what if one breaks? I don't know if they will. That was all of our food. Don't worry, we'll get more. Uh, maybe. I do have a pistol, that's true. It's gotta be something. The buffalo are all dead. Oh! Got one. 26 pounds of meat. I'll take it. Split rock. Whenever we noon, we have the children rest under the wagon for a What accent day. is this? The relentless sun draws more strongly from our strength than do the walking and climbing. Tell me more. I'd dearly love to have a sly look in at home to see what they're about. I don't really... I don't really want to hear more. Uh, I'll try hunting with the pistol. I like the noise it makes. <laughs> Boop. I want more than just geese, though. Bears. Huh? Is it gonna kill me? I think the the bear is just going to come over and beat the crap out of me now. <laughs> Sorry. The bear went to go for help. It's going to be a pack of bears. Wait, what did you... Oh. I think I shot it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> How luckily they all move. Sink together. Now I can eat them all together. Perfect. Three crossings trading post. 
Do I want the deep sand route? Why would I ever want the deep sand route? That sounds like a place I shouldn't be going. The Sweetwater River. Two and one half feet. I think I can afford that. Let me check the guide. The wagon. Uh... Nah, I'll take my gut instincts. Quicksand ahead! Put the weakest animal up front. Which team is that? That seems a little unfair. But it tells me to, so... yep. God knows what that does. Sacrifice the weakest animal to the quicksand gods. Uh, South Pass? Three crossings? I have no idea. Why am I going backwards? Wait, weren't we just here? Uh. Yes, I, I remember seeing this. Wait, what? Uh, oh God. Sorry, guys, I screwed this up. <laughs> Fallen rocks. And just continue. It's fine. Oops. Oh, God. I lost a box of bullets, a dress, a pair of mittens, a pound of candy, three pounds of coffee beans, and various other items. And Team Blue almost... <laughs> see <laughs> oh no that's so great it looks like a silent film comedy I'll continue whatever no one died why am I going backwards oh wait what what do I Turn the wagon. And we'll caught in quicksand. Oh yeah. Looks just like that. <laughs> Do I try to rescue it? What if I die? You were unable to rescue. Tim is near starvation. Don't cry for me. <laughs> I just look so sad about it. Oh. Go hunting. Hmm. Kill I'm not killing an animal, I'm only killing the wild animals. How did I miss a duck right in front of my face? Kill the animal in the quicksand. Well, that seems like a useful thing. What am I even shooting at? I do like the ricochet noises, though. Giraffes? Oops. It seems like if you shoot, just blindly, stuff comes out of here. Nothing big, though, but... Hey. 281 pounds of meat. Heavy fog. Ah, whatever. Okay. South Pass. Yes. Okay. We're good, I think. <laughs> what is this music? Welcome to Final Fantasy VII. 17. Uh, I can do up the hill. Oh. 
dramatic heavy fog. That seems a little unnecessary. Are we going backwards? Not now. We're getting there. No fruit, no water, low morale. Okay, I'll get you guys fruit. Do you have fruit? Fruit. Vegetables. I can get you guys some good boots. Some beans. Some ham, some lard, some potatoes. Potatoes are vegetables. I'll trade you for one Dutch oven, one hammer, one ox. You yeah, sure? A hammer for 20 pounds of potatoes. Sounds like a plan. New Fork River. There's a lot more rivers in this game. Who's around here? If you ask me, this river is much too deep to ford. Alright. Guess I'm cocking it. What is happening in the background? <laughs> I only have one hammer. How am I going to mash the potatoes? Celebrate the fourth! Continue. What do I do? Look at how much this man loves America. Ugh. I can't even see his face. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Oh. Morale is slipping. <laughs> Somehow our morale is even lower. Now that we celebrated. <laughs> oh god. That was all of our whiskey. No meat, no vegetables. I get shot while celebrating. Yes, everyone just shot each other. We'll be fine. Don't worry. This game is much longer, but I think we picked the Sacramento Trail or something. Which I want to say is farther. Oop. Oh. That's something. I really want to hit that bear, though. A goat? Just really having a hard time walking. Oh, now it's dead. You get the Donner Party option? Would you like to eat your party members? Yes, no. Bunny! Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Boop. What the, what is that? Okay. Um <laughs> The missing link. Got one shot left. 192 pounds of game. Okay. Bad mosquitoes. We can hardly sleep at night with. Nah, eh, too bad. You'll be fine. I don't know where I'm going. I suppose the good mosquitoes. Terrace Canyon. Double team. Scurvy. Look for edible plants. You were unable to find edible plants. <laughs> this man's mad at me. Urgh. If only you got us edible fruit, I wouldn't have gone bald. Okay. I'll get you guys some fruit. What if I get you money? For one fishing net, I don't even know how to use it, so sure. Trade you for my pistol? Trade you for my banjo? Ugh, fine. Very low morale. Ugh. What am I gonna do? I got you guys. Oh, you ate all the fruit! 
How are we running out of all the food? Meat, vegetables, fruit, everything. Run is over. Lost the banjo. The banjo was the only thing keeping them going. They're probably starving. That's, if I had to guess, the issue here. Look, we still have all that whiskey. That'll keep them happy. Maybe. No fruit, no vegetables. At least nature's pretty. Team Blue has scurvy. And a dust storm. This is not going that well. Oops. <laughs> You've been dismissed. What do I do? I'm still... <laughs> I'm still doing everything. I've been fired. Everyone's in good health. I'm feeling good. Increase rations. And more salted pork! We don't have any water or anything, but... You know, eat more of this. Have more bacon. That'll take care of it. Oh, visit the fort. Do they have a blacksmith forge around here? I sure could use one to make some wagon repairs. Hmm. Fort Hall here is a busy place. I am so the enthusiastic. The of meadow grass here are just as for me. I'll fix up the wagon leaks. I suggest we stay here for. I suggest. I. 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 I, I I'm good. Probably should go and hunt though. I don't know where we're gonna get more fruit and vegetables because, I guess the real way you're supposed to play is keep keep some money, and then just go to various places along the trail versus buying everything in the beginning. That seems a little bit easier. Then I could just keep buying fruit, because the prices don't increase like in my game. Hey. 72 pounds of meat, I'll take it. I caught some fish. Why would I release them? 10 pounds of fresh fish. Oh man. Team Pink is suffering from an unknown ailment. Thick dust from other wagons? Why don't we just move in the front? Nothing you can do about the dust. It was here long before we came along. And okay, fine. Strangers ahead. Oh man. Approached them. <laughs> I want to know. The strangers moved away as you approached them. Now my animals are exhausted. Coincidence? I don't think so. Breed with them? Shoot first? No, we're double teaming the animals. <laughs> They'll be fine. Also, the American Falls are really green. Oh, the Raft River. Almost there, guys. <gasps> Abandoned wagon. Oh, there's nothing inside. More strangers. What do we do? I feel like approaching them will be interesting. More dad blamed fools out in the middle of nowhere. Dad blamed fools? What? What are you doing here? Watch your tongue, friend. Sometimes it don't pay to talk smart to the wrong party. Pardon? Watch your tongue, friend. Watch your tongue. Watch your. Watch your. T watch your step. Watch Not my step and my tongue. Me. Why don't you folks just move along now? Pardon? Watch your step. Oh. 
Can you just get into like a gunfight with these people? I would love if that happened. Team Blue is taking a turn for the worse. Team Blue, no! All more strangers! What if it becomes an arcade shooter? Top of the day to you, friend. Name's Casey O'Neill, late oh. of County Clare in Old Ireland. Oh, God. Uh. Howdy! All my relations said that the only place in the world for a young man to go to make his way nowadays oh. is America. God. So I booked my passage, and now here I am, on my way to an unspoiled land, ready for enterprise. I don't think Irish people sound like this. I have heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten this journey. <laughs> that by taking all the shortcuts, you can Pardon? see I have heard it. I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Team Blue! Team Blue, no! Green and pink left. Sorry to say. Do we bury them or just. <laughs> what are the serious consequences? City of Rocks. Oh, yeah, they'll be fine. I'll just leave them. We're almost there. Team Green is taking a turn for the worse. Team Green, no! Pink is in poor health, I'm okay. Oh. Wait, the wagon tipped over so I lost a dress and a skirt and my rifles? How did my guns break? The wagon just fell over. Just pick them up. And a pound of candy. What the? Team Pink is suffering from irritability, loosening, and loss of teeth, stiff, sore joints, and swollen, bleeding gums. Oh. Sorry, Pink. I don't know what to tell you. That's not going to work out too well, is it? You ate too much candy, Pink. Oh, Team Green died of scurvy. Pink's okay. I gotta trade for a gun. Which you don't have. Uh... I will take fruit. I consider that an acceptable trade. Oh, I do have a pistol, that's true. Tim has taken a turn for the worse. Oh no, I don't have any gunpowder? Team Pink died of starvation. <laughs> oh god. I have scurvy. But wait, I have fruit. Gather vegetables. Don't die, me. I'm the only me left. Talk to this person. We met a man yesterday who said he'd already been to California. All right. His report bore underation. I've been working for other underation. Pardon? I've been working for other folks all my life. Pardon? Thunderation. Thunderation. I've been working for other folks all my life. I hear California's the best place for raising cattle. Acres of wild. I hear California. <laughs> Oh god, I need... I need gunpowder. I will take some quinine as well for two Dutch ovens? Please, anything, I'm dying. <laughs> Ten pound jar of grease. I will trade you my playing cards for a jar of grease, please. Thank you. A grandfather clock. <laughs> One grandfather clock for seven oxen. I don't think so. I need new petticoat. Oh, not for that much whiskey. A keg of vinegar. Ah, dried fruit. My long underwear for fruit. My pistol. My pistol. Sure. 
Don't die, Tim. Feeling poor. This might be the end. Feeling fair? No meat, though. I have scurvy. Because all I've eaten are plants and vegetables and fruit. Oh, jeez. Gunpowder? Horseradish? Shirts? I need gunpowder, please. You don't have anything. Potatoes. Anyone, gunpowder. Yeast cake? Dried vegetables, blanket, a bag of beads? A banjo? Gunpowder, 12 skirts, I don't care. I will trade you all of my skirts. I won't be stylish anymore, but I'll have to deal. We'll be fine. This is... <laughs> How did I miss that five times? How did I screw up that badly? Well, three bullets left. This is... <laughs> well, could have gone better. One shot. Just one. Save one for myself, okay. <laughs> How am I doing? I'm feeling okay. You know, everyone's dead. I've been dying of everything, but... On the whole, I'm alright. Feeling good. <laughs> Everyone else is dead, but... We'll make it. All I need is just to kill every other person. <laughs> Good dead, 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 dead. Broken yoke. Oh, we fixed it. I'm suffering from an unknown ailment. But I feel good. I feel okay. <laughs> it's lupus. Yeah, vampirism, exactly. Nah, I could afford that. It's one foot. The unheard of triple scurvy. I don't think they had AIDS in 1850. Who's around the emigrant pass? Which way is west? I... The left. The right. That one. The Black Rock Desert. The 40 Mile Desert. I don't want to be at any of these places. Wait. No, it is left. Is west. Never mind. What am I saying? The gravelly ford of the Humboldt River. Alright, I can ford that. What's the Oregon Trail we normally play? Version 1.2. This is straight up version 2. Made by the same people. I'm feeling good. Thick dust. Eh, that's fine. Yeah, I only have one bullet, and I'm saving that one for me. French Ford Trading Post. Please, sir, I'm starving. All you have are boots. What am I going to do with that? What? Well, sir, I got some boots in store, and, uh... That's about it. Ugh. Useless. Eat the boots. The boots are made of leather. They should be edible. Low food, very low morale. Seven bales of hay have been added to my inventory. Wow. Please give me food. Dried fruit. 30 pounds. 11 dresses. 
No. Wait, bales of hay, I'll do that. Please, fruit. Sets of china, no. 25 pound kegs of pickles. Sure. I will subsist on pickles. That's it. No meat. Just... Just pickles. I'm gonna open a deli. Humboldt sink. Animals exhausted. Too bad. No grass. No meat. No water. Desert. Talk to this person with the big knife. Keep back. You ain't a passing us. We got no wish to be eating your dust. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Oh. I maintain a suspicion of folks that's too inquisitive. I maintain a suspicion of folks that blink too much. Just keep back there where you are. You try to get past us and there'll be trouble. Pardon? Just keep back there oh. where you are. You try I'm done looking around. This place sucks. No grass, no meat. Uh, biscuits, grandfather clock. Three dozen candles, 23 pounds of meat. Sure. Oh wait, I didn't even trade. Okay, fine, pounds of bacon. Quinine for bacon, ox for bacon, a stove, a wagon cover for bacon. Okay, sure. That's a deal. We've got bacon, we've got pickles. We're gonna eat well tonight, my men. And by men, I mean... Oh, I'm sorry, green is dead. Forgot to cross them out. Keep back. You ain't a passing us. Pardon? Keep back. Okay. I want to talk to someone else. I feel like I've been eating dust soup all day. It's been so thick. I've learned to drink just one cup of water. Just one in the cup of dust. Flake my thirst. Using a couple of poles and a. Bl I don't have any of those. <laughs> we need dust water. We do. My party is suffering from thirst. My party is dead. I'm the only one left. I have chest. <laughs> my health problem. The thing that puts me in bad health are excessively chapped lips. Nothing else. That's why I'm in bad health. I died of thirst. <laughs> My lips were so damn chapped. <laughs> Not my lips. My lips just fell off. Lip disease. <laughs> Pickles are not good for dehydration. That's a good point. My lips were chapped. To death. No, I don't want to save this. I don't even get a chance to write my uh, epitaph. <laughs> what did I think? I thought it was fun. Also really depressing. Well, I'll have to try it again. Oh, somebody beat Stephen Meek. Also, G.W. Bush? Oh, it's a different W. Hmm. Got to load a game? No. One day, one day we'll make it. At some point, start a game with only alcohol. There's a lot more to do in this game than the first one, I can tell you that much. No, I don't think I'm gonna try it again. It might be coaster time. Hmm. Coaster time, I think. Uh, I'm gonna have to resize the chat, though. Do a proper run. To be fair, I was honestly trying not to lose. It just sort of happened anyway.
Uh, we will get to Nintendo Nightmare eventually. Guys, I swear to God, chapped lips are not no laughing matter. Do not underestimate chapped lips. You will die of them. <laughs> Somebody sent me this wonderful picture. Thank you, Internet. Where would I be without you? <laughs> Rub the snow on the frostbite. Give me a minute. Uh, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, that one. Updates. Just, oops, let's move. That's an interesting video for Pop, or to uh, pop up. Here you go, in case you're wondering. It's easier just to watch it than wonder why it's in there. Somebody sent me that. I'm just trying to grab the link to this tweet it, honestly. Uh, anyway. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Um, uh, video game. Yep. Got nothing to say. <laughs> well, anyway. There you go. Just give me a moment, I'll load this up. Is my chat color different? It's red. I think I set it to red, to be honest. Let's see if the game actually loads up this time. Who knows anymore? Hmm. Uh. Open? Oh, there it goes. It's like you have to open it twice. Or else it never loads up. Somebody sent me a PM on Twitch saying, OMG, if you don't bury somebody, they could have disease and infect the rest of the party. That is why when you didn't give a proper burial for the other person died so quickly. Got it. Now I know. Oops. To be fair, I thought I was just throwing them out the back of the wagon. I didn't think I was carrying around a dead body the whole time. But now I know for next time. It seemed like a good idea. I mean, who's got time for a burial? Just chuck him out the back. Anyway, give me a moment. I think it's okay. That's a face. Um. So, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Which, I could probably make the chat a little bit bigger, but... At the moment, we'll leave it as is. So, we are on... Victoria Falls. Which we could do, in Africa. The dam is built, offering abundant, cheap hydroelectric power with which to run a park. You know, not to build a city or anything, but... Theme parks are on the top of the list. Or the Grand Canyon. Or the loading screen. Well. It comes down to this. Do you want a three-year scenario or a four-year scenario? That's what it is. You know, we're going to do it like this. I'm going to make a straw poll. Easy enough. Uh, 
what do Grand Canyon, three years, park rating of 600, uh, Africa thing. Four years, get good park value. Boop. Here you go, there's a link. Looks like Africa Thing is winning by about two to one. So that means it's a four hour scenario. So, buckle up. There's a lot of roller coasters to come. Well, I still have about a third of a pot of tea left, so I guess that'll be enough. You should download the scenario pack, it's really good. It's also 10 years old. The Time Machine also includes scenarios from Katie's Dream World. Boop. Alright, Africa Thing 1. Alright. Africa it is. Got to get a park value of at least 225,000 by the end of year four. Oh dear. Over the edge. It's Africa themed. Why is it called? Oh, that's why it's over the edge. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's something about the way that water looks that just doesn't fit very well. I had a coaster that cuts off over the waterfall. I might as well. This is the future of video gaming. Hmm. Alright. Well, we're gonna need a theme for this park. Because we haven't had a theme for a lot of these scenarios recently, and I think it's way more interesting with a theme. And look, the park value is already at zero. Hang on, let me put the goal at the top. Goal. Get a park value of 225.00 by October year 4. Oh, it doesn't fit. Is that readable, by the way? Without having to pop the window out? Theme of space, Nintendo Nightmare themed. Readable, okay. Waterfall theme, Coca-Cola theme. Homeopathic remedies theme, YOLO theme. Slave theme. God, could you imagine like a terrible internet meme theme park? Naked Julia theme. Oh, now you're banned theme. Wait, can I not even build here? Hang on. I can't. What's the point of even putting this here if I can't build on it? Hmm. Theme themed, soda themed. Well, let me start building a ride. Of course, the Africa Park gets the diamond ride. Good job. Good job, Chris Sawyer. Proud of you. Uh, wooden roller coaster. Rhino ride. Ostrich ride, suspended swinging coaster, compact inverted coaster. Uh, I'm going to go with the wooden, I think. Oh, yeah, and the wooden coaster is the one with the design touch wood. Good job, Chris Sawyer. You did it. 
You really did. I don't know what you did. Okay, actually, no. Step one. If I have to get a good park value, or not park value, but, um, yeah, park value. What I'm going to need to do is actually get money every time. So step one, build stuff. Just dinky stuff. So let's put a crooked house here. And then a diamond ride over here. There. A cheap knockoff theme. I'm looking for a theme for the park that isn't overtly racist. You know... Hmm. Who is Chris Sawyer? He's the guy that made these. Okay, open all those. First world problems theme. Uh... <laughs> possibly. Soda themed. What I mean, I don't want overtly racist things, that also means I don't want subtly racist things. First guy in the park is Bernice D. Guest one. Can be forever immortalized as... you. Hopeless person. Which is probably the best name you can give the first guest in my park. Hmm... Chris Sawyer only made the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. I think this is the original Roller Coaster Tycoon, too. Hmm. Pandas. I don't have enough money yet to blow on pandas. I do name people after the chat. Mostly handymen and things. Bear Grylls theme. What if I just start taking people from the chat and name them after rides and just call it a day? It'll be like the new crowdsourcing chat. It'll be super hip, super modern. It's web 3.0. There. Web 3.0, the future park collabville is now the name now the theme of our park. Diamond Ride, Crooked House. It's in Crooked House mode. It's in rotation mode. It sounds about right. That is a park name. It's the best of park names. The Netscape Navigator. Let's see, so Diamond Ride 1 I don't know why this is even a thing, but okay. It can be... Uh, let's pick somebody out of the viewer list. If I don't pick Duff Mana, is he going to ban me? Uh, do, 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 this one. Milex 36 It could be Milex 36 what? Hmm. Something. Diamond thingy. Wild ride. Oh, fine. <laughs> it's not even long enough yet. That means you have to increase the number of rotations to 18. <laughs> the diamond dial up. Charge money. What? Uh huh. Wait. Oh, that's right. Wait. Oh God. So the admission can cost money, but the rides can't. Oh. That's. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Where are my twenty-dollar umbrellas? Okay. There we go. 
Yeah, that's the thing that I don't really like a whole lot about Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. They just fiddle with the formula too much for certain things. Like, I just want a free ride and a la carte attractions. That makes sense to me. Like, county fair style. I hate change. It's garbage. There, this can be the information kiosks can be can be the Duff Mana Don't Ban Me kiosk. Perfect. The Thanks Obama kiosk. All right, now that we have some things sort of bring in people, let's build a ride. Custom design, please. And I bet you instantly we are going to spend all the money on this. Right, right. But that's okay. Object is to spend money. Maybe not quite as fast as I'm about to, but money is money. Jungle tree in the way. There we go. Can I add an uphill and downhill bank turn? That's weird how it'll delete certain trees, but not other, or not other trees. It's like some of the trees count as scenery, and other trees just count as trees. Because in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you can just build... Um things over trees and scenery, and it automatically deletes them, but, um, every now and then it doesn't really work as you think it should. Anybody else getting drop frames? Uh, on my end, no. XSplit has told me I haven't dropped any. Came here with expectations, and I met them. I don't know what they were, but hey, thanks. If the expectations were playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, talking about random nonsense, also getting broke in the first five minutes, then yeah, no problem. That's something I'm wholly capable of. How's my roommate been? I don't even think I saw him today. Oh, okay, trees that take up more than one space do not get automatically deleted. Now I know. Let's finish up this. I kind of want to make it do another flip de do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough money for that. 400 bucks. Uh, I don't think so. No. No. It won't. This ride isn't expensive enough. Well, the object is to just build up a park value, so I sort of assumed if I just make more stuff, it will work out, but... I guess not. We can do this, though. My roommate, no, I'm a Twitch star. I'm not a Twitch star, I'm just a dude that plays video games. I just really like Roller Coaster Tycoon. There we go. And it even gets three trains. What if he's watching my stream? Oh. He doesn't have an Xbox. He only has got a PlayStation 3. He can't watch Twitch on that. Did I tell him about the millions of dollars I'm making off subs? Shh. I'm not supposed to talk about that. Can't tell him about the hundreds of thousands I make off Twitter. No, I'm kidding. Nowhere near. Yeah, first rule of Twitch Club. 
If my roommate died on the Oregon Trail, would I toss him out of the back of the wagon like I did with Team Red? I would give him a proper burial. Because somebody sent me a PM saying I'm playing the game wrong. Wouldn't want that. Well, I think it works out. Pulls 3.2 Gs. Minute 6. And we've invented the Virginia Reel, which is the worst thing ever. Oh, hey. 6.42 is the excitement on that. Can't wait to charge money for it. Oh, wait. I can't. That sounds exciting. Hmm. I'm watching Summer Games Done Quick. I'm currently streaming stuff, so... Not at the moment. Maybe later. What is the theme? I... I don't know. I'm just picking dudes from the chat and naming stuff after them. Why not? So this is the wooden roller coaster number one. Which... Okay. Let's do it like this. You guys describe the ride. And then I'll pick a person from the chat who's actively chatting. I'll just scroll up and down, randomly click a dude, and name it after them. So... For instance, it would be Monotone Tim's something. And something would be a name for the ride. Banana. Super tantastic ride. Ups and downs. Ride of awesome. Explosive diarrhea. Ah, it's too white for that. Tapioca Pudding Popper? Transtastic Voyage? Terride? Depression Coaster? George Harrison's Left Testicle? Oh god. Haven't heard that one in a while. The Up Down Thing? The Flat Wood? The Scurvy Creator? Sure, alright. In honor of the Oregon Trail theme. Or, uh... Not theme, but playthrough. I'll go with the scurvy creator, and that'll be you. Xerxes first. Scurvy creator, in fact. Hopefully first in a long line of successful scurvy creators for Xerxes. I think I spelled scurvy right. I think there's... no. Not needing it. There we go. Should be an Oregon Trail 2 themed. If I had more tech, everything, more monitors, I would just have a copy of the Oregon Trail 2 running in the background with this game at the same time. But... I don't think there's any way to do that. Will I ever play the Oregon Trail on stream? I don't know. I've never played it. How's the park value? Oh, it's already 50 grand. Which is really bizarre, because nothing in the park costs that much. It looks kind of bland. It is, but I don't really have that much money. Maybe I'll attract more people with my wonderful ragtime style music. That's what people need. Will I try every roller coaster tycoon? Maybe? Um. I got through the first one. I'm gonna get through the second one. And then I guess I'll get through the third one day. But that will be a while. Put more food in it. Alright, yeah, sure. What is a good food? Cotton candy, cookies, fruity ices. I we just call that ice cream, but okay. Okay, no, fruity ices and ice cream, totally different. French fries, uh, and that's drink. A bathroom would be nice. Eh, who needs it?
Hmm. No sound from the game. Oh, it's really quiet. My bad. There we go. And make a fruity ice stall. Why not? Put it right there. The fruitiest of ices. And make it a buck. And while the park is still small, let me put some garbage bins down. Which look like this. There. Perfect. One of the first times I'm actually going to be somewhat responsible in this. And the handyman one can be... Da, 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 da. You. Seven coin. You are the first handyman. You did it. Okay. And we already have a grand. I don't know what we're going to spend it on, but... Something. Something to complement those fruity ices. I guess a bathroom would be an idea. And... Maybe I should put a sign up. I put up all those bins. I'm gonna have to plop one right... here. Crooked H? Why would I want my sign to say that? What does it even mean? Oh, Crooked House? Oh, weird. Litter and die. Litter and. Hang on. Die! There we go. It's our new anti-litter campaign. I think it's quite effective. And maybe around it we'll have... An oil pump? We'll have... Zebras. Really angry hippos. I swear to God, if you litter... If you litter, actually, all this TNT behind the sign blows up. That's not TNT. That's a conveyor belt with diamonds on it. Perfect. So be sure to clean up after yourselves, alright? It's a good idea. Or you'll be flushed. Also, all the money just went into decorations. As it should, I think. Open the bathroom. Oh yeah! Charge 10 cents. Eh, 20 cents. If you gotta go, you'll pay 20 cents. Sounds like a plan to me. So, we need another tea bag. I've been using the same tube all day. I think it needs a third. Premium deluxe bathrooms, you know it. Name the bathroom after something. That guy who used the bathroom in my apartment. This is his bathroom. Is it time for another coaster? I only have a grand. I can't really make a whole lot with that. I can make a hippo ride? Wait, what? A submerged submarine shaped like a hippo. That sounds terrible. Everyone get inside this giant hippo. Hmm. Okay. That sounds safe. The Hippodrome. Well, the thing is that the Hippo Ride needs to be built by water, and that's really far, and I don't have enough money to really make that at the moment. So... Virginia Reel? Crazy Nights? Texas Tubs? Wheelie Reel? Uh... Great. Yeah, no time to explain. Get inside the Hippo. Let's build the Virginia Reel right here. Do I own that land? I don't think I do. I don't. Maybe I do. I don't. Nah, that's right. 
is build it around this way. Your scroll for the center of the streams at the bottom and it won't let you go back up. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds like you need to refresh the page. Oh. <laughs> I think I might be out of money for this Virginia reel. Just real big disappointment. Yeah, best coaster. I'm done. Call it a day. Oh, it only goes at four. I'm sorry, that's all the space we've got. Hmm. Gotta switch the position of the entrance. Oh, if only I could complete it. Or uh, launch it, at least. That would be great. Oh well. I guess the game realizes you can't just build random dysfunctional garbage and get away with it. Which is a shame. You just should have the ability to launch any ride at any state of completion regardless of whether or not it's going to fail miserably. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's put this here. You were gonna do that, beat you! It's like a competition. Can I outmod the mods? Oh, let me build the platform in the back. Oh, I don't have any money for this. I have 176 people just floating around in this little square here. ride should be called Mod Wars. I think years ago we had a theme that was just Twitch TV themed and I don't remember what uh, what park that was but I feel like half the people we name things or uh, name things or don't exist anymore. I'd have to load up the game and check. It'd be interesting to see what um, Twitch things at the time warranted a name. Did I name the park? It is the Web 2.0 The Future Park collab. Where we're just taking names of dudes from the chat and naming stuff after them. I really wish Virginia Reels had different slopes for going up and down, but they don't. So everything's just really samey with them. Hmm. Well, the thing is that I really need to come up with good themes for the theme parks. I just don't know, um... I just don't know what they should be. Alright. Who's gonna get it? There! There we go. I was waiting for that one to be deleted. Do a dancing theme. How long is one roller coaster tycoon year? Exactly an hour. Can you refer to all the park guests as backers? That'll just be like Kickstarter theme. Kickstart my roller coaster. Which will never come out. But I'll take all the money anyway. Must finish Virginia Reel. That's the entrance fee. 20 bucks? Not making quite enough money on that. Is Snoop in the park? I don't think so. 
getting there. We're about half a snoop so far. Let's see, what do we make? Everyone really likes this thing. Shame I can't charge money for it. God only knows why. Uh, how many fruity ices did I sell? None. Zero fruity. Oh, one fruity ice. Who bought a fruity ice? One single person. I can't even find him. Increase the admission? Yeah, I guess. I've got the little green arrow, so I don't really want to mess with anything, but... I guess 25 bucks is not too bad. What is the max guest limit in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? I've got no idea, but I know that it's more than in the first one. Let's see... I can build that! And that! And that's it. It's gonna be a long four hour scenario. No, it's not 20 or uh, 28 bucks to use the bathroom. It's 25 to get in, and then 20 cents to poop. There you go. With 28 bucks, you could use the bathroom a whole bunch of times. Ah, uh, no, we have not yet invented haunted house technology. Not yet, anyway. I don't know what we've invented. I think it's African theming stuff, which includes rundown things, an oil drill, TNT, animals, and trees. That's what Chris Sawyer thinks Africa is like. Good job, Chris. You did it. Chris Sawyer's Cultural Sensitivity Tycoon. Why can't I charge on the scurvy ride? Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is weird. Because... Sometimes it just lets you charge for rides only. And that's it. In this one, you can only charge for admission, not rides, at all. So, even if you make the admission price zero, you still can't charge for rides, which is really baffling. Just ignore random chair noises in the background. Hmm. You'd rather pay for the initial entry than the rides. Maybe in real life, but it's a lot easier for, um... for pricing rides if you only price individual rides and not the price based on, you know, the park entrance. Because with uh, no entry fee, you can charge whatever the excitement is, just convert it to dollars and people will pay it. But if you have an entry fee in the park, they'll pay you less than that, but it doesn't really seem super obvious how much less. So it just removes all the guesswork to make entrance free and all the rides cost. And I probably need to cut this back down to like 20 bucks. Make the next roller coaster pink. Oh, I'm so broke right now. Have to wait for more money before I do anything. Hmm. So, hey. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. A game about things. About being in debt. This game is effectively a debt simulator. Welcome aboard. This is such an Oregon Trail ripoff. Got tractors. You don't have tractors in the Oregon Trail. You don't have carts full of diamonds. Can I take out loans? Oh. Yes, actually. Oh my god. I forgot to take out a loan. How? How did I forget to take out a loan, of all people? 
Oh god. Losing my touch. I'm almost insulted by how dumb that is. <laughs> Whoops. Don't worry, it's good now. We'll save the park. Okay, now we build stuff. We build stuff non-stop. Scenario is saved. I don't know why I thought there was no loan. Oh well. With more money comes more rides, comes more guests with even more money. It's a vicious cycle of profit. And crashing rides into other rides. You can get dysentery in Mountain Blade. I've never played Mountain Blade, but apparently a lot of people like it. I've seen a couple of videos of it. Looks interesting enough. Haven't really been playing a whole lot of games recently. My 15 hour lab days. Uh... It's almost as fun! Sort of, no. Not at all. No, the company value doesn't matter at all. Only the park value matters, so your company value is probably going to be negative something by the end, given all the loans you take out, but it doesn't matter as long as park value goes up. Well, I do more lab streams in the future, I have no idea. What kind of science do I do? bio -y stuff. Working with mitochondria, or uh, mitochondria and membranes and whatnot right now. Which is great, because it means it has like 15 hour days. Isn't that exciting? What's a lab stream? Uh, it was a thing where I just loaded up my phone camera and just started live streaming dumb lab things I was doing at any time. But... Anyway, as the Virginia Reel runs... Yeah, Virginia Reel runs... I'm gonna build something else, because I've got some time. Always built the pre-mades. I think ever since I got this game as a kid, I always just built custom stuff, but most of it was pretty much low excitement, ultra extreme intensity, and very high nausea every time. Oh, wait, there's no chain on this. How does this work? What is this? What is a rhino ride? I could have sworn this was just a steel mini roller coast. Oh, whatever. Now it's blown up. Um. Compact inverted roller coaster. Okay. El Condor, or the Lobotomizer. That's something I'd want to put my body on. I secretly Bill Nye. Oh, afraid not. Yep, Tim Nye. It's my secret identity. This whole time. I don't know why they just make a bunch of roller coasters in here that are the same thing as in the first roller coaster tycoon, but with just different novelty names. It just sort of makes it more confusing than anything else. I mean, I guess it's sort of funny, sort of interesting to be, oh, hey, you know, I'm not going to make a steel roller coaster, I'm going to make a rhino, upside down, vanilla, flip-de-doo, or something. But, half the time it's just, I don't know what this is. 
What am I making? Nothing. Just making a mess. Jungle tree with vines in the way. Oh, there we go. Not anymore. You love the flip doos Well, don't worry. This game's got plenty of flip doos Oh, things in the way. My thing. How about a photo? And then we can go up and flip. It's officially got a flip do doo They really copped out on the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 expansions. I've never played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 growing up. I've only played it on stream, and I don't really know the difference. Like, what one is vanilla, and what one is... Or excuse me, what one is with expansions. I sort of thought plain old Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 had just, um... You know, Rhino rides instead of steel roller coasters or something. But, um, if it's only an expansion thing, I guess that's better? Because it means you have some sort of choice at picking the kind of rides you want. You know, whether or not you get the expansions. Am I ever going to play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3? Eventually, once I finish up with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Vanilla is a flavor. It is. Would argue a great flavor. There's a thing in front of my thing. That's a thing I said at one point in time. One of many extremely nondescript quotes. Vanilla is a bean, not a flavor. Hmm. Jungle Tree 2 in the way? Okay. Not anymore. Did I ever check out my local Joe Mugs? Oh, I didn't. You're right. Forgot to do that. Once I finish Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, it'll probably have been so long since I last played Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 that I could probably just go right back to that and pretend it's new content again, and I'd also probably be 50 years old at that point. Hmm. Is that gonna go? No, it's too close to the ground. And it's too close to the other roller coaster. Hmm. Will that work? Will that work? That will work gonna pull a load of G's on that though, so let's not put that there. Am I gonna open that other coaster? That's a good point. What are the tests on the Virginia reel? Alright, 6.28, I can live with that. I can go there. Let's connect you to the rest of the park. You can go there. Make it the vomit coaster. Okay. And it'll be you, Sandrag. It'll be Sandrag's vomit coaster. Coincidentally, also the person who told me to go and check on it. I don't know why this coaster is McDonald's colors. Shortest entrance. Yeah, the way that I built it, Sort of locked it in where I can't really fit a full queue line, so it's the best it's gonna be for now. That's in the way. Oh, there it is. You know, I want to build more synchronized things, I just haven't gotten a chance to. Because those are fun to make. Just sort of a pain to get them all to line up. That's what I want. Am I pulling the names from the viewer list? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Trying to, anyway. Oh, go away, Jungle Tree. Better chance of winning the lottery than winning in the Tim's chat thing. That's how I've always done it. There's things that'll pick people from the chat automatically, but I just click into the chat, scroll up and down. 
which apparently zooms out in this game, and uh, go to town. Recreate the synchronized rainbow coaster. The worst thing about now playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 instead of the original one is that I can't easily switch into the old maps that I made to show them off. I'd have to load up Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 all over again to do that. Which I guess isn't that much extra effort, but it's just an extra step that I didn't have to do before. Now I do. And clear that out. And this guy's almost done. I just jungle tree with vines in the way. Ooh, there we go. That can go there. That can go there. That can go there. There. And the big yellow thing is done. That looks okay. No, I don't play Roller Coaster Tycoon every time I stream, although I do play it often enough. Call it the Big Mac Cheese, the Mick Coaster. You know, I started off with 30 grand in this. Now, I've got substantially less than that. Yeah, it'll be like uh, the Oregon Trail where I die of thirst. for whatever reason. Fat Larry with an F. A. T. Have you, like, ever said anything in the chat that doesn't have this face attached to it? Because I think, I swear, every line you've ever typed in this chat, ever, has had that face. Except for that one. You just did. Well, touche, then. It's his thing. It's his signature. Hmm, gonna get scurvy on the ride. You're gonna be on the compact inverted coaster so long, you're gonna run out of fruits and vegetables. Ronald's Barf Burger. Do I read all the chat lines? I try to. I might not reply to everything, but I've always got my face in the chat somewhere. Just a lot of chat to always respond to. Raise the admission. Let me just make sure this won't kill everybody. And it's probably good. Ta-da! Yeah, I never read the chat. I'm a soulless corporate shill. Have I told you about Kellogg's recently? The best breakfast. Uh, oh, that's in the way. Now oh, the hippo's in the way. There we go. Everyone wins. Did I charge for an on-ride photo? Yes. I'm gonna charge more. 270. High, very high, and medium. Pulls five vertical G's. Which is good, because... If no one rides it, I could always loan it out to NASA. Ronald McDonald's coaster of Big Macs. I know you're always supposed to put brakes right before it hits the station, so if the station brakes fail, it doesn't explode, but... Either I forget, or I'm just too lazy, or I want to see things go terribly wrong, so I just leave the brakes out most of the time. The double sun power rod. The spaghettifier. Hmm. I should make the line longer. Eh, it's okay. No sense in having a bunch of people wait on a line when there's nothing really to wait for. If the station brakes fail, then all the brakes fail. I didn't know that. 
I don't know if it would make sense or not, but whatever. I didn't open the other ride. I think I do. I didn't. You're right. The vomit coaster is now open. It wasn't before. Hello, Julindy. The yellow steel heart stopper. The big yellow thing. Okay, big yellow thing. But who owns the big yellow thing? You. Hyper Shadow 8. There. Big yellow thing now has a home. Lost all the profits in the downtime. No one's even paying for this thing, though. It just loses money. Everything just loses money. Company value is 110 grand. That's a little under half. I don't know. Let the person who owns the coaster name it. Because I did that once or twice, and a lot of the names I got were just... I don't know. Things. Things that I wouldn't necessarily name things. Just sort of... NOT FAMILY FRIENDLY! Think of all the... families, all the... what? Wife, kids. Two and a half kids. Potentially watching the stream. I forgot what one of them was. Hmm. Oh, man, I, there's one particular ride. And... I totally blanked on the name. Maybe the giant stacks of TNT are scaring off the visitors. But I need them there. I need to remind them not to litter. How does a sign have any power behind it if I don't have TNT next to it? And angry hippos. People are breaking my benches and trash cans. They are! Those bastards. Alright, we need a security guard. Probably another mechanic one day. Security guard one can be... You. 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 Sandrag. Wait, did I already name you? Oh, you already got the vomit coaster. Hang on. You've been fired, Sandrag. This one. That one. That one. I'm trying to click you. Van Herman, thank you. There. Van Herman got it. It's really difficult to click individual names on the chat. I don't know why. It just... like it bounces off. Every time. None of those are you, but they could be. If you give it time. That's working out okay. Got the green arrow. Hello, Zombie Jill. I was wondering why that little chat thing was flashing. It does that every now and then. Uh, Crooked House. Mini golf. A gentle game of miniature golf. That's what you think. Did I name the handyman? I did. Mini golf. Mini golf. Mini golf, mini golf. Where can I put the mini golf? There. Maybe? I should just surround the mini golf with TNT. Play some mini golf at altitude. A, B, C, D, and E. What words can I spell with these five letters? I can spell dead. That's a start. Dead. What else? Hmm. Great gif. Do I dare? <laughs> I think I've seen either this one or something very similar to it. 
forget what the other one was. Dead. Bad. Cad. You mean like the webcomic. Oh no, big yellow thing's in the way. Bad. Bad dad. Oh, that doesn't fit. Bad Ed? Oh, now I'm stuck. Damn it, Ed! Oh, I got nothing. Bead. Can I spell dad? There we go. And I'll put in Ed. Ed with two Ds. There we go. And let's try to end this so it doesn't go forever. End up with a massive queue line. Or not. ACDC. Okay, mini golf. It exists. Except there's no place for the station platform. Oh. Oh, wait, hang on. One place. Just maybe. That'll connect. Uh. See through rides? Is that connected? Nope. So hey, guess who royally screwed everything up? It's me. Wait, I can't lower the land? Or raise the land? Why? Why would you do that? Well, that's... unfortunate. So, uh, I'm running the thing into the hippo's butt at the moment. Okay, there, it fits. I mean, in the park, not in the butt. And Mini Golf 1 is open. Needs a name. Am I charging 20 bucks for umbrellas? You know it. No other way to do it. Although the gem thing is broken, so let's make a mechanic. It can be... you. Eater of Spiral Galaxies. Fix things! Guess they're complaining about the pathways. Fix them! Another handyman, I guess. Why the rain just can't sweep the barf away is beyond me. You, Popcorn Colonel, can be Handyman. Call it the Not So Mini Golf. Okay. Oh. That's right. Needs a name attached to it. Yep, all the umbrellas are 20 bucks. We've sold six. Seven. Which is enough to not really make a whole lot of money at all. You can get a hole in one every time. <laughs> I was wondering what this was supposed to be, and then it got deleted. So now I guess I'll never know. Hmm. Double deck observation tower. Sure, why not? Let's make that. Oh, maybe not. I wanna put it down over here. But if I do, it's not going to have any space. Well, no, that would work. Never mind. Also, thank you for that, Marbidon. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. It just goes off the screen. Uh, that sounds about right. Perfect. Exit there, entrance there. Just enough space for a one square queue line, which for whatever reason sticks into the exit. Double deck tower, rotating lift mode as it should be. Would not mind powered launch, to be fair. Name it the Oh God, It Just Goes Forever. The Moon Vader, the Tall Tower. The Erector. The Can I Have a Badge. Hmm. The I Can See Jesus from here is too long. It probably would fit, to be fair. Yeah, it would fit just fine. If you really wanted it to be that. Woody's reach for the stars. Pole position. The Tim Titan, Mr. Bones Wild Tower, no seatbelts, Titan Tower. There is no Mr. Bones in the park, though. I mean, there's a lion, a rhino. A zebra. That's about it. Ozone Breacher, the Tinker Toy 2000, the Station Brake Failure, the Up and Down, the Sarah Palin Can See Russia from here. I don't know if it's that tall. Elton John Space Invader. Sure, yeah. Sure. I'll go with that. Needs a name eventually, so I might as well just grow... grow. Go with something. We'll make more things. Plenty of time for more names. Uh, I built one of these. I built one of those. I built one of those. I've got about seven grand. I can build something else. An ostrich ride? Sure, alright. Whatever an ostrich ride is, we're building one. It's guest 420 in the park. Probably by now. I feel like he'd have to be. There he is. He's also really tired. There. He lives. Guest 420 in the flesh. When you get to play Moonbase Alpha, God, I can't remember the last time I streamed Moonbase Alpha. So long ago. I feel like it's not really a thing anymore. Like the novelty of text-to-speech Moonbase Alpha has sort of worn off. Oh, go away, trees. No, it's stuck. Hang on. To be fair, who really ever played um, Moonbase Alpha correctly? I just feel bad for the NASA people that made it. It's like, we're gonna make this game and get kids interested in space. And then... What do they find out kids like to do with space? Well, just say funny things in the text-to-speech generator. <laughs> That's about it. They're just so disappointed. In the youth of the nation. We're giving them this 
unprecedented astronaut simulator, and all they want to do is run around saying John Madden. Let's see. There we go. That works. Get rid of that. Call it the Snoop de Loop. I think I'm gonna have to. The Snoop de Loop. It's a great name. Do a loopy. I sort of have one. Problem is, I'm running out of space. Might be able to fit one in here. Uh, yeah, actually. Just barely. Now, the real question is. Am I going to have enough room to bring it back? I don't think so. Hmm. Nope. I can do that, but it's going to be way too fast. What if Snoop Dogg ever found this stream? I don't know. I can't imagine how weird it would be for him. Why are all these people saying my name? What is this? Go underground. I can't. I'm forbidden to adjust the land at all. God knows why. I'm his nephew. Oh, is that how it works? Snoop would become a big fan and feature me in a rap song. That's totally what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to call it the Snoop de Loop. I can't think there's another name, or I don't think there's another name I could possibly consider in light of the Snoop de Loop. Sort of broke though. Also, a lot of bar from this park. Which is weird. I've got two handymen. Not a lot of pathway. Why there's still vomit everywhere is beyond me. Hmm. Make one with two loops and call it the Snoop de Loop de Loop. I don't have any money. I can. Barely even finish this. Hmm. We tweeted Snoop about the stream once and never got a reply. I tweeted Snoop, will you marry me? And he never replied, so... Snoop doesn't reply to anything, he just retweets people smoking. That sounds like a thing you would do. <laughs> He's a busy guy. Well, you know, smokes every day. He doesn't take days off, so I can't imagine he's got that much free time to interact with people on Twitter. Hmm. You're literally doing nothing to aid the chat. Gotta get rid of those naked Julia links. There's more than usual, oddly enough. Hmm. Anybody want to spend money? Really fast? That'd be great. Gotta finish this park. Oh, there we go. I can build a whole two pieces and then run out of space. Oh, then out of money. God damn it. Yeah, Snoopline420 just tweets, I just fired one up, Roller Coaster Tycoon Tim legalized land development. If only, I don't know why you're not allowed to adjust it. It seems like a really bizarre thing to just prevent you from doing. It's like, yeah, you can blow up all the trees, 
Who cares? Just don't touch the land. Hmm. Anyone? Money? Just spend more? That'd be great. Nope. These people are just watching the tower. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I've been in the park zero minutes. It's just reflecting on life in front of Elton John's Space Invader. Please finish this ride, it's almost done. I've been looking at this thing that just drips off the end. Come on, ostrich ride. Please, I can't open the stoop to loop, it isn't done. Spend money. You, spend money. Spend more money. The Snoop de Loop demands it. Oh, hot chocolate stall. That's very specific. I'll just run it. Maybe the track will line up perfectly and it'll work flawlessly. That'd be great if you could just spit the track out directly at the platform and have it work, but I don't think it'll work. Guests are complaining about the disgusting state of pads in your park. Well, they wouldn't be so bad if they didn't barf on them. Stop getting new stuff and save money. Well, I'm trying to just build this. That's the only piece I need. Hmm. I don't even know if it's possible to connect that. Nope. Don't think so. Anyone? Spend money? Come to the park? Spend money? Two S-Bends would work, but... It's a matter of getting the money for the S-Bends. Oh god. Delete some station. It's not enough! I can look at things. Just watch them go. That's almost exciting. Oh, someone's coming in. Raise the price. Yeah, price gouging. Take fifty dollars from you. Fifty dollars from you. Lower the price back down. There you go. All right. Another S bend. No money. Anyone? Five bucks? Surely. Thank you. It's gotta be five bucks in this park. Hmm. Fifty-six? Don't make me increase the price again. I'll do it. Although there's nobody even coming in. Oh, I missed. Okay, another guy coming in. I can just pick you up, shake you, take all the money that falls out. Best value park in the country. Haven't ripped enough people off. That's the problem. Hire pickpockets. I can't run an ad campaign. I've got no money. I can't do anything. I just watch people steadily leave. Uh... Handyman! Go and clean, please. Everything's a mess. Uh, turn off the research. To be totally honest, I don't know where the research is. Hmm. Oh god. If I tried spending more money... I have. It makes me broke. Maybe I should just keep the handyman on hand. Clean up stuff as I go. 
Oh, it is under the rods tab, you're right. Minimal funding. Can't afford this fancy science. Uh, the park value at the moment is 131 grand, so we need another 100 grand or so. Take all your money, please. Surely you will spend $60 standard, right? Nope! Wait, why not? Oh, you have 40. Okay, fine. Missed opportunity, but that's okay. You can't win them all. How much do you have? 40. Good. Perfect. There, now we're in the black. Don't worry. Park is saved. Just need to build a couple more pieces. Come on, theme park. Just connect the thing to the stuff. Why are you leaving? You still have money in your pocket. That means I haven't done my job. I'd cut all the research, but I sort of want to get new stuff. Oh, will that connect? Looks like it might. Just barely go from here to there. All I need is more people to come in the park. So the current goal is find out how much people have then increase the entrance price right to that amount. And then bring it back down. So you don't gouge them forever. I should stream Pong... Yeah, I should stream Pong sometimes. There is a place where I'm from in Jersey that has all these old arcade and pinball machines and... Uh, how much do you have? 50 bucks. And they have an original Pong machine, and it's really not that exciting. Like, at all. Which probably shouldn't come as a big surprise, but regardless, I'm not really gonna say Pong is a game that holds up that well. Spoiled by Roller Coaster Tycoon. There we go. Finally, the ostrich ride is open. Forty dollars is quite expensive. Look, the park is hemorrhaging money. We have to get it from somewhere. Don't worry. Ostrich ride one will be the best. Let me just close it and open it. If you change the chain speed, you have to adjust, or you have to uh, do a new test from the beginning, or else it's not going to have the data. It'll think, oh, you changed the speed. It's a totally different ride. We have to run a test again. So, if you ever see me start a test and then restart it, that's what I'm doing. Ostrich ride one. Hope it has enough speed. Oh, wait, it's the green one, not the yellow one. No, we're going to call it the Snoop de Loop. That is the ride for this, or the uh, name for this, excuse me. Well, that was a thing. Not a very long thing, but Park is really, really running out of money. You put the little apostrophe at the end of the day. I'll just put it in the middle. Perfect. Split the difference. I can't decide. I'll just do a park compromise. Do, do. Why not day with a little accent on the E? I don't think this game accepts any non-standard English characters. I think it'll just yell at you. Like a 
try it. But I don't think I would go in. Oh, it does. I'll be damned. Now it's fancy. It's imported. Snoop Day Loop. Now I can charge twice as much. Uh, where can I put this? This way? This way. Nope, oh, that'll hit the entrance. And that's not good for anybody. That'll still hit the entrance. Hmm, footpath in the way. Still, there we go. Not the cash. Story of my life. Playing this game. Has there ever really been a scenario where I did have enough cash? I'm really struggling to think of one. Short of the infinite money scenarios, of course. Those are sort of cheap. Bit of a cop out there. Kanye checks. Oh. Oh god. It was a nice try. Let's open up the Snoop de Loop. It's probably not going to crash. Okay, the intensity is a little high, but that's fine. Your head will probably stay on the whole time. Snoop the Loop is open. Pay off some of the loan. Ah, uh, it's a $40,000 loan, of which I've got about $300. So... Might not be able to do a whole lot of that recently. Micro Park was a good scenario. I kind of miss Micro Park. I sort of want to try it again. But, um... We've already completed it, and I'm not sure if it's too interesting to watch a second time. Also, people are thirsty. Go figure, they're not going to drink out of the toilet. I guess the obvious solution is coffee. Or hot chocolate. You know, I've never seen the hot chocolate stall, so I guess we can build one of these. That is some very fancy looking hot chocolate. You're gonna sue my park so I don't have any money. Yeah, take all the money I don't have. Alright, later then, Sandrag. Thank you for watching. Uh, what can I build? What can I build? What is this? A mine lift. Oh, it's just an elevator. Got it. Rhino Rod, Osher Dried, Suspended Thing, Flying Thing, Thing Thing, Launched Free Fall, Escape Hatch. Nope, I'm gonna build my own. Cocoa Puff Daddies. Why is everything just turning into, like, rap theme cereal theme? Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've done it. My launch free fall is ready. Ignoring the fact it might smack directly into the track. Perfect. I think we're good. Launch free fall, no. Downward launch? Maybe. That's not going down at all. Now it is. Oh. Well, it did go downward. As the name would suggest. Let's get rid of it, though. Put that someplace it might actually work. Put it here. Call it getting high. You know, there's one sort of an idea for a theme. 
And then it just sort of fell apart, and now it's like, yeah, it's vaguely Snoop Dogg related things, but anything works at the moment. You're my favorite 24-hour streamer. I don't think I've ever done a 24-hour stream on this channel, so that is a weird thing. 24 hours of my boyfriend. Oh man. I was thinking I could get the DS copy of my boyfriend and play that, but I feel like it's probably not going to be as good. It wouldn't be that hard to do, because I've got the DS capture device, but I'm afraid it's just going to be a really uninteresting game. Oh. <laughs> Ignore the rest of the tower. 90 miles an hour. Alright, off we go. That seems safe. I can't even see it, it's just off the top of the map. Can't move the camera up. Ugh. How did my boyfriend end? Did we find love? We did. We won Damien's heart. Everything worked out. Became the hacky sack champion of the world. Then the credits rolled. And that was it. That was the game. It was worth the 97 cents I paid. We went to college, could hardly find a decent job. Any advice? I have no idea. Oh. Extreme intensity. How about a downward launch? Downward? Perfect. Is it even better? It's just gonna go off the edge. It's going to go off the edge safely. Going downward. Also, I think it might be time for more tea. Hmm. I guess it is. Programming's a thing I've always felt like I ought to learn. Never a thing I actually did. One of these, you know, one day I'm gonna learn how to do this. Things. That sort of just sits there on the back burner forever. What kind of tea? Oolong tea. I think this is the second pot I've had today. Just sort of addicted to the stuff. And it's not even that good, it just tastes like mud, but I feel better when I have it, so I'll just keep drinking oolong tea. God, that goes long. Hey, it's almost here! <laughs> Perfect. Jettison people 120 miles into the ground. Also, holy hell, is that a lot of vomit? I think we need a new handy man. We can be boop. Q Maru. Honey bunches of puke. Oh, great. How fast is this? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> is the intensity better? Is this a better ride than it was prior? God, I think the next park we have should just be a serial theme. Just... Out, just overtly... This is a park about serial. Period. Everything will be named after serial. The end. Just call it a day. You live in the serial capital of the world. What I think is probably going to happen is that... It's going to be a bunch of people who are not from New Jersey saying, Yeah, I start every day with a bowl of frosted bunches of wheat thin chips 
Madoodle Zenheimers. And people in the chat will be, yeah, yeah, I love those. And I'll be sitting here like, that's... I don't think that's a cereal. And then we're just going to have a bunch of names that are super bizarre. And I'm never going to know if it's legitimate cereal or not. You can't have Frosted Flakes. Oh, I'm sorry. I agree. If you don't drink the cereal milk, you believe in Satan. That's the best part. I think you can actually go and buy just cereal milk. Just milk that has been strained through cereal. And I don't know where, but I've heard about it. And I feel like that's the best idea ever. If you subscribe, will I name a ride after you? Um... I kind of want to say yes. At the same time... I'm wondering if everyone else who already subscribed is going to say, Oh, where's my ride? Don't be a sellout. Uh, it's true. I'll just open a donation thing, and if you donate a thousand dollars or more, I'll name a ride after you. <laughs> and you could have a virtual roller coaster that people see for a couple of hours up on screen with your name on it. Just the low, low price of one grand. Hmm. I just want to check something. Hang on. There's got to be... I didn't just make this up. Buy cereal milk. Like, really? I, I could have sworn. No? Alright. This is cereal milk as in, like, vegan alternative milk. I could have sworn, could have sworn that there was a place you could buy. What is this? Is it this? Oh, there. <laughs> my favorite cereals, including Fruity Trudy and Chocolate Chip Kathy. Chocolate Chip Kathy? How do you even name a cereal that? Okay, chocolate. Like, just imagine the board meeting. Alright, we're gonna have okay, a brand of cereal milk. Genius. You're genius, boss. What do we call it? Oh, okay, I'm thinking about this. We're gonna have a chocolate... We're gonna have milk, okay. Strained through Count Chocula. Alright, but we can't call it Count Chocula, because we're gonna have to get the rights to Count Chocula. So we're gonna have to come up with a generic chocolate cereal name. What do we call it? Okay, well, I'm thinking... Chocolate. Yeah, yeah, go on. Ship. Alright, alright. You got me here. What's next? Kathy. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last one? Just Kathy? Like, like the person. Like, like the woman down the hall in accounting, Kathy? Oh, okay. Alright. And thus, Chocolate Chip Kathy was born. The end. Do I speak binary? No. Version 28 just subscribed. Hey! Welcome to the club. Chocolate Chip Kathy. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna name... The hot chocolate stall. Hot chocolate Kathy. Perfect. <laughs> Just spelt with a K. Hot chocolate Kathy. Doesn't really work so much that way. Raspberry Razzle Rebecca. Hmm. 
name the bathroom hot chocolate Kathy. No, 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 no. I think people might get the wrong idea from that. Okay. I wanted to build a rhino ride earlier, and then I couldn't... Oh my god. Uh... Hello, Barf. Where did you come from? I wanted to build a rhino... A rhino ride? Yeah, earlier. And then I forgot how they work. So, let's find out now. It says it has a spiral lift. Does that mean it's this? Like it goes up that way? Oh! Oh! I see. That's I do. Genius! And... Kinda silly. Current park value is 191 grand. Hmm. I guess I could put this here. Is there a guess 666 in the park? Probably. One point in time, at least. There he is. There's Satan. Perfect. Just hanging out. Did I ever get the merry-go-round to take off? Uh, I wish I believed it was true for the longest time. Then it turns out... Apparently it isn't? Oh god. <laughs> Is that how this works? Hey, Satan Potato. Uh, I'll pretend I named that last dude Satan after you. How about that? I think it's kind of a neat feature that Twitch has. Where you can uh, get an update on people subscribing. That's kind of cool. Because there's really no way for me to figure it out. Um, immediately, anyway. Would have to download the record of everyone who subscribed and then go through the list and eventually figure it out. There's really no way to do that on stream. Have I ever heard of the Minecraft crew? I've not. Sounds vaguely familiar in a way that I'm probably lying about to save face. Hmm. Oh, god damn it, jungle trees! God damn it, debt! Can't remove the tree. I need 150 bucks. It's people who play Minecraft on YouTube a lot. Oh, so like... 95% of YouTube. Oh god, everything is barf! Oh, thanks. Gwen the Red? I thought your name was Gwen the Nerd when I first read it. Good thing I checked again. Thanks, Gwen the Nerd. Gwen the Dork. Is that a diamond? Yeah. It's a diamond ride. I don't know why. It just... It's a thing. You know, instead of teacups, we've got diamonds. Stop cyberbullying the chat. Am I gonna make my way into local news now? What do I do with all the subscriber money I get? Uh, pretty much all the tit, the uh, titch, the Twitch money I've ever gotten has gone to college textbooks. Although recently I had to pay a seventy, or not, not recently per se, it was last month. I parked my car in the wrong spot on campus and got a seventy-five dollar parking ticket, which Twitch helped pay for. It was given to me by. Officer Peebles. Peebles. His name was Peebles. I I can't. Ah. 
I'm sure I've mentioned this on stream, but... I mean, on the subject of cereal earlier, that sounds like a cereal. Start off every day right with a good bowl of healthy peoples. Turns milk into traffic violations. Officer Peebles Wild Ride. And the worst thing is, okay, I'd gone into the city with a friend earlier, and we went to a music store, and we spent like 60 cents on tape cassettes to play in the car, and we made an effort to find the worst cassettes ever, and we found one called Society for a Better Society, and it was by a dude from the area who made this cassette. And it was awful and cheesy and lame and everything. And we played it, and it was hilarious. And we thought, okay, let's go to the radio station and rip the tape so we could have a copy of it. And for a 10 cent cassette tape, I parked the car in the wrong spot and got a $75 ticket, so... That's... that's my story for that. And then it turns out, actually, I left the cassette in the car too long and the heat of the summer warped it and now it skips a single part every time, so... Not only did I get a ticket from that, now we've ruined the only copy of Society for a Better Society that you're ever going to find, ever. The end. Thanks, Officer Peebles. Get rid of the puke. Yeah, I probably should. You could do it. Q mutter. I killed Art. I ruined the only copy of Society for a Better Society. Look, I'm sure the guy had good intentions, but, I mean, the lyrics were not good. What was it? Um... It was... I'm trying to remember the refrain. What genre was it? It was rock. Um... It was, we're just fighting for a better society... For all of mankind... Peace and love for everyone is all that you will find. And... Then it started delving into some heavy issues, like there's leaders lying and people dying and nobody cares. Um, I forgot the rest. Kids on the street with nothing else, to, or with nothing left to eat. Oh no, it was something like that. That was society for a better society. It was. It had its heart in the right place, but as music, it was terrible. Yeah, nobody cares. Look, there's people dying. Leaders lying. Nobody cares, you know? Society for a Better Society was going to change that, and then I took the only copy of their album and left it in the car and warped it, and now it doesn't even work. Park value is 195 grand. Urgh, jungle trees in the way, but I can't delete it. You will never find anything on the internet about Society for a Better Society. You know, the album and or artists ever. Like, this is a thing that you will never see again. And we had the one copy and ruined it. Is there any way to speed up the time? Nope. It's just sort of like this. Go away, tree. Are they platinum? Oh, yeah, definitely. I bought their tape cassette for 90 cents, or from uh, 10 cents, excuse me. What do I do if I reach the goal early? Make more stuff, pretty much. Finally, I get rid of that tree. Oh, god damn it. The Society Against Society for a Better Society. I found that, and I was really hoping it was a thing against the actual band for being terrible, which I thought would be really funny. 
I doubt it is. But, in my heart of hearts, I'd really like to think that's the case. Oh, thanks, Kakespear. Welcome to the club. Roller coaster club. You looked up Society for a Better Society and founded the Beer Society. It's probably a better alternative, let's be honest. And the thing is that when they were singing it, they had like this pseudo British accent, which made it even funnier. It's like they really wanted to be a socially conscious Beatles, and it just wasn't working out. Oh, God damn it! I can't make anything. It sounds like they want it to be Green Day. Maybe. They also said fighting really strangely, because it was like fighting. It's like, we're just fighting for a better society. It's like, oh, this is terrible. And it was great, because it had a really stupid, catchy chorus. And now we ruin the tape. Is this a custom built map? Uh, yeah. Well, I built all the rides. The map itself is just from the game. You know, it's like Foyton. For that society. This ride is dumb. Maybe I should pay off the park value. I can't! I don't have any money! If I have a grand, I'm gonna finish up this ride. Looks like a SimCity map. Are they... Is anybody still playing the new SimCity? Is that kind of just the thing that... People were enraged about, and now they've all forgotten? It sort of seems like it. Oh god, so much barf. Clean. Please. Gotta clean to a better society. Spending all my money for one ride, but this is gonna be the ride that makes it big. Maybe I can just end the ride as is. When it just gets to the end, you just push the cart all the way back. Fire my janitors and hire new ones. Tempting make my old janitor sad, then they'd file a lawsuit, and I'd have even less money somehow. Can you listen to the tape on the stream? I don't have a cassette player here. The only cassette player I've got's in my car. If I had one, I'd play it. I wanted to rip a copy of it before the tape got mangled. Afraid was not meant to be. Charge five bucks for the bathroom. I've got a twenty cent thing going on. Two hundred and sixty six flushes. Do I stream for a living? I don't. I stream when I have, I guess, a free evening. That's about it. I don't, uh, foresee this being something I do for a living, just something I do for fun. Uh, we're at a height of 90. Came off a height of 120. I don't think it's gonna fit, but it could. It could. Hmm. I'll have to see. There's no way to get a good chain on this. You just have to make all the chains spiral, which is kind of weird. Do I plan on going to medical school after college? Not really. I don't think medical school is for me. That park isn't very chic. 
If I got 50 to 60,000 concurrent viewers on each stream, would I consider doing it for a living? That's like saying, if I won the lottery, would I consider retiring? It's, it's a hypothetical which will never happen. So it's not anything I really worry about. What will my job title be? King of the Stuff. <laughs> and then Tim won the lottery. Yep, Roller Coaster Enthusiast, my official job title. King of Coasters. It's my new fighting game. People win the lottery every day. Yeah, I'll go to like a 7-Eleven, buy a gallon of milk and a scratch-off. Win like $2, cash it in, get like 50% off the milk. There you go. No, I can't leave it like this as much as I'd like to. Only parks with powered launches can get uh, non-complete circuits, and this is a chain thing, so you can't really do it. You know what I should do? I should restart the band, Society for a Better Society, and then tour and make it big. And then... Then... I'll have it set. With my new cover of We're Just Fighting for a Better Society. Can replicate the original singer's awful accent perfectly. Have to find the original band members. I, I think, like, the cassette case was like, hey, thank you, Mom, for funding this. Or something. It was a really low budget thing. One of these days, I'll finish this. We've got the guy's phone number, because he left it on the cassette uh, insert. But we've never called him. Did I finish Roller Coaster Tycoon 1? I did. Have I ever heard of Rooster Teeth? I have. Their mom won the lottery. Yep, that's... Their mom won the lottery, and it's, you know, we're going to spend all the money on society for a better society. Must finish ride. I don't know if I'm going to have space, though. I don't have his number. I'd have to go into the car and take the cassette out. What's my favorite movie? I don't know. I don't really watch a whole lot of movies, so... God knows what. Must finish. Park. Look, if, if I got a million dollars, if I got multiple million dollars, I would buy the rights to Roller Coaster Tycoon. Why not? Of all the things I could potentially do with that money, that seems... ...potentially the least wasteful. Oh, goddammit! Everything's in the way. That's in the way. That's in the way. Stop being in the way! Killing me here. Build that, build that. Then... I guess just S-bend into the station. I don't even know where the entrance is gonna go. This isn't even a good ride. It's just sort of... Really, really generic. Really lazy. But I don't have any money for anything else. B 
become Korea. Oh, is that my new plan for life, then? When I grow up, I want to be Korea. All of it. The entire peninsula. Hmm. I went to college and majored in biology so I can become Korea. Buy the rights to Korea. Perfect. My new band name, Becoming Korea. You know, it almost sounds like something that could work. I'll just dedicate the rest of my life to becoming a K-pop idol. Have I ever considered streaming Chris Sawyer's Locomotion? Uh... Not really. I don't really know what it is. It's a game about trains. But... Past that, I've got no idea how you play. It's like uh, Transport Tycoon. It's a game he made, but not really a game I feel super compelled to play. Go, Rhino Ride, go! Yeah! Seven miles an hour! Would I stream it if it were called Train Coaster Tycoon? Oh, uh, possibly. Have I ever considered joining AKB48? Oh, yeah. It turns out this whole time I've just been... a Japanese girl. Fooled you! Haha! <laughs> also, these rhino things look like baked potatoes. With a little bit of butter inside. It's 3 a.m. I'm hungry. I have played Game Dev Tycoon. Probably should try playing it again, because I never really beat it. Yeah, exciting! Hairpin turns! Woo! That's probably fine. Is there a Monopoly Tycoon? I've never even heard of that. Try to make my own Monopoly boards. High, medium, and low. Effectively stats that are entirely too good for this. The reverse disappointment. That's true, I did stream Toilet Tycoon at one point. Yeah, I don't know why the excitement's 7. It means it's better than this. Just barely. Rhino Ride 1 has got a better excitement than the Snoop the Loop. God knows how. Monopoly Tycoon is a game. Is it? Oh god. From the publishers who brought you Roller Coaster Tycoon. From the publishers. I.e. not the people that made it. Okay. This looks like a game. It's crap. It's not horrible. Somebody sent me Mall Tycoon. I streamed it. I don't think it was a very good game. Will I ever play my boyfriend again? Well, I won my boyfriend at the end. I don't really know what else to do with it. I've successfully captured Damien's heart. Nothing else to do. Oh, hat stall. Must sell hats. It's pure profit. Prison Tycoon. I feel like I tried to stream that and it didn't work. But maybe I dreamed that. Oh, I was going to go on eBay and just buy a copy of... Uh, the DS My Boyfriend game eventually. And just stream it. Just to see. Maybe it's garbage. I don't know. 
but it's also like eight bucks, so. Sunglasses, hats, right next door. Now you too can avoid the cops. What else can I put there? Souvenirs, cuddly toys. They'll never expect you're a mass murderer if you're holding a stuffed animal. Or maybe that'll be the dead giveaway. I don't know. Have I ever played this? Is it pornography? Last one, two sold. It's a girl thing! Oh god. Don't make me buy this. What, is, what does it look like? Just, just give me a screenshot. I, I might, I might do it. I might do it. Oh god. Oh god, I'm doing it. Wait, that's not the same game. I want this one. Thank you, Team Teabag. Uh, wait, who made it though? Is this the same? I, is that the European cover? Oh, it is. Wait, no, that's the German one. My world, my way, Japanese things. I want this one. The one that's German. Oh, that's pornography. I'm gonna stop floating around here. <laughs> Thank you, Google. So, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, how about that? Call Kotaku. Oh no. <laughs> Damn you safe search, you failed me. <laughs> uh, where do I put this swinging ship? <laughs> I don't know. I was just looking for a copy of My Boyfriend, the DS game, but... Guess that's not working so well. <laughs> that was a good two years. I'll have to do something productive with my life. Boop. <laughs> 7 2013 never forget. I go to jail, you guys have to bust me out, okay? Just stick like a nail file or a hammer or something in a cake, mail it to my cell. Yeah, so upset I can't build pathways. I want to open the window again, but I'm not sure if it's still there. You know, we'll find out. Give me one moment.
Okay. Screen's fine. <laughs> Just had to check. No, it wasn't me. I was uh, doing a Google search of my boyfriend DS to see what the difference between the US and the European cover was. And go figure, there's some naked dude. Thank you, Internet. Where would I be without you? Everyone was convinced I was banned. What, like the big hold-on screen with the dancing stick figures wasn't really a giveaway. It is very tempting to buy a copy, though. I don't know if it's interesting enough, because I think the thing that made the My Boyfriend game that I would played earlier interesting is um, a lot of the voice acting and the fact that uh, the DS one probably wouldn't have it is more than likely just sort of going to make it bland and uninteresting. Got a solid 2 out of 10. I would trust Game Grin with my life. Make my own voice acting. I could never tell if people reading every line of text on a um, on a game is interesting or really annoying or what it seems like a very personal thing but um, yeah I don't know I don't know what you guys think about that can't go wrong with these graphics. Yeah! That's my dream boat. This distant smile is so dreamy. Had you capitalize the first letter of every sentence. It's gotta add emphasis, you know? How else do you do it? Though it does make everything seem like you type any title is a... Wait, what? I can't even read it when it's like that. It's just... Really... Bizarre. Your mind gets tripped up while trying to read all of that. With the wacky capitalization. No, I was playing a, um... German-made dating sim that I bought for 97 cents called My Boyfriend, and it was interesting and awful and great all at once, and I uh, recently finished it on stream, but that was the second one. There is a, a uh, an earlier entry that I was thinking of maybe getting, but... The one I played had a bunch of really great voice acting, and the fact that the first one's on the DS means you're not going to have any voice acting, and it's probably just going to be a terrible collection of mini games with pictures of anime guys on them, if I had to guess. You could capitalize all your verbs. Great. That's, that's a thing you should be doing gotta be consistent. Uh, the park value is 220 grand. We'll get there. Hmm. I can just build stuff. Satan has bought a cuddly toy. Oh. 
Good job, Satan. This path is disgusting. I feel sick. This cuddly toy from Souvenir Stall 1 is a really good value. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Can you figure out which? Please enhance the waiting line. It's one unit short, isn't it? Looks fine to me. People are getting on. Seems okay. Hmm. Satan knows the value of a well-priced cuddly toy. I'd like to think he does. Also, why do you guys barf so much in this park? More than any other park I've ever made. It's just Barf City. Yeah, I went to a deep depression after I beat my boyfriend, and now I don't have anything left. Just trying to play Roller Coaster Tycoon and pretend it's okay. But it's not. Not okay. How do I move on? Now that my boyfriend is done. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the Rhino Rod. I mean, aside from the fact it's covered in barf. It's got a short entrance, but that's okay. Didn't this park have a theme? Sort of? Maybe? Kind of? You want to make a Corno Power recipe? Be my guest. Hmm. Gotta build this thing, but it's not done yet. Uh, once you hit the park value, you have to keep playing until the scenario is over, so you have another two hours of just floating around. Let me just save, which I don't think I've actually done at all so far. In. All right, guys, give me one quick minute. Just need to go and use the bathroom. Uh, hang out a sec on the stream. I'll run a quick commercial, I guess, and I'll be right back. Don't go away. Alright, hello. Oh man, money! I can actually put down a few pieces. 
Oh, sorry, I didn't mean for the stream to freeze. It just sort of happened. I forget what the Twitch policy on dating sims is. I want to say... Some... are not allowed... But I don't remember. Because I think Twitch is worried about them becoming... Pornographic, which you're not allowed to have. Yeah, some people were complaining that Twitch is disallowing certain dating sims, or all dating sims, or something. So I haven't really poked around too much. It's okay if it's not porn. Okay. This is a bit of a dated thing that I'm talking about. Um, haven't heard anybody really mention anything about it, you know, semi recently. But. I don't know. The thing is that I want awful, crappy dating sims. Like my boyfriend. I'm not looking for well produced, funny dating sims. There's no fun if they're well made. I have to laugh at them. I don't want to fall in love with random anime characters. There's a point, actually, years ago, where I would just stream random garbage, and I remember I streamed a few that were either on DeviantArt or Newgrounds or something. And, uh, what was it called? I think it was like Kaleidoscope or something? I don't remember. But, no, it wasn't Magical Diary, it was another one. Also, hello to Russia. Um, I think it was Kaleidoscope, and it was the thing with one of the dudes who was the pond... Like, his name was just literally The Pond. And he didn't have a soul, or he had a soul, or he tried to kill you, or... Something, and then I romanced him, and then we made babies. The end. Is that the one where I dated the mushroom? Yes. Was it this? Possibly? I would have to check. It's loading up. Every time I click off screen, though, it ends up putting it in a new window, and if I try to click off it, it turns Roller Coaster Tycoon off, so. Can't really do it that well. Is it this? I don't know. Oh! This was one of them. This is not the one I was thinking of. This is a different game altogether. Um, no, it wasn't Kaleidoscope, it was something else. I don't remember what it was. It was... That's the one where you're in a room and you just go in a circle and go do different things. The pond is a different one. And I don't remember which. I should just do a stream with just awful dating sims, and that's it. Just exclusively. Oh, I already played Meow Meow Dress Up. What am I doing with this ride? There's no place for it. There we go. I dated a robot by playing the piano. I vaguely? I don't know. Play the biker game that came. Oh, yeah, uh, Ride to Hell Retribution. Apparently, it's really broken. 
watched a giant bomb quick look of it, and it seemed pretty funny, but I know my computer is going to choke if I try to stream it. There's no way it would do that. Just break. Do I watch Tom? Like, who? There's a lot of Toms. Honestly, I don't really watch a whole lot of streams. Normally, I'm just doing lab stuff all the time during the week. Um, and then I spend the weekend sleeping. And if I'm not sleeping, I'm doing this. We're drinking tea and moping. One of the two. Am I going to play Nintendo Nightmare tonight? Um... Probably not, just because this scenario is another two hours in it or so. Oh, that could have gone better. Do, do, do. Well, don't worry. I could fix this. There. Now it's safe. And not at all going to explode. What's my park value? Probably just a little bit less. Yeah, 210,000. You lost 200 pounds of human flesh. It sounds way more morbid when you say it like that. Hmm. I need the Oregon soundboard at the ready. I can't find it. Where is it? Uh... Uh, oh, there's the Oregon soundboard under T for Tim. Hey, it cleared the part where it blew up before. That's way louder than I thought it would be. Yeah, four miles an hour. This is going to explode. Oh, this is going to explode. <laughs> Three miles an hour. It's going to crash. Or not, you know. Do I know where you can get the Oregon Trail? Uh... Go back in time, like a decade and a half, and go to the Toys R Us by my house. That's where I got my copy. I don't really know where it is for download online. It's apparently abandoned where at this point, so you could probably just Google Oregon Trail 1.2 and look, but... I don't have any links I can give out. Look at this. Do I dare? Oh, I've already seen this. That looks like a thing I would make. Oregon Trail 1.2 is not on GOG. Oops. On GOG. I think I broke it. It's stuck... there. Perfect. Lawless. That's how I want it to be. I want all the cars in one part, and then they never move on. The end. You know, and I can't even see where they are. Oh! Where is this? Is it under the track? Behind the trees? Oh! Hello. Uh, let's fix that. Must be closed. It is closed. Delete, delete. Delete, delete. Okay. Up, up, up. Flat. Go. Again. Must. Finish roller coaster. Need to save the park. News update on my phone. Royal baby Prince George to receive custom cufflinks at christening. Oh, thanks. Now I know. They should have just given the baby just a really bizarre name. 
because if it's going to be the royal baby, everyone's going to have to love him or at least pretend to love him anyway. What What's the worst that could happen? Just give him a terrible name. No one's going to really make fun of him in front of his face anyway. Yeah, there you go. Prince Zanlethor. I'm not saying name it Hitler, just something strange. Do I have urges to play other games? Uh, sometimes. But a lot of the games I would want to play aren't really conducive to being streamed. I don't know what Galgun is. Is this pornography? I feel like this is a thing I shouldn't look too terribly much into. It's a rail shooter. Alright. Oh, it's got PlayStation Move support. The Xbox 360 includes an angel set, a maid cafe, underwater mode so they wear swimsuits. So, when do I get arrested for playing that? PlayStation 3 version has improved versions of Doki Doki mode. Two normal girl types for a total of 68 girls. Improved graphics including depth of view. Uh, I don't know. Not feeling that per se. Probably shouldn't either, or else I'd be arrested. Wait, is this the game that Giant Bomb streamed once? Or played where they had Jeff being really creepy on the camera? If so, I think I've seen it. Uh, God, I don't have to look. Um, hang on. Yeah, yeah, the creeper cam one. This is the video I'm referring to. With Jeff Gersman playing Gal Gun, just with his face. There's a new In the corner. She's from Singapore. For code A. For code A. Okay. Taste toasts can't handle. That's such a great video. I feel like that game is on the thinnest of thin ice for streaming on Twitch, though. All right later then. I scried for you, if I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you for watching. Excitement, not yet available. Okay, open it. We're done. Also later than Gwen the Red. Don't I want to be a pigeon looking for love? I just want to play crappy, awful dating sims. I don't want good dating sims. I don't want funny dating sims. I just want ones that look like they were made just specifically for like the 14 year old deviant art audience. Playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you see? Yes. It's a game, it's a series I've played quite a lot of. I should play Deadpool. I heard it isn't very good. And I'm not really super big into comics at all, so... Probably going to pass on that. What am I gonna name it? I don't know. It can be... You! Thrustmaster. 
Because I don't have a better idea at 3 in the morning. Perfect. I do. There's name thing. Have I considered making my own dating sim? But then I can't play it. I know what happens. I'll just make a dating sim where I can do all the voices and just make it terrible. Just every single character. One dude. I died in your... F oh, I died first in your Oregon Trail playthrough. Thanks. Thanks. Think. Uh, speed bump, this is going to be another two hours. We have gotten the park value where it needs to be, but it uh, still needs to wait until it's year four. Also, hello, Fossius. Another Jersey guy, apparently. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to... I'm not currently in Jersey. I'm in Maryland at the moment. Doing researchy things. But... Eventually, I'll probably end up streaming from Jersey again. One of these days. Am I ever going to make level 2 of Oh God Help? Uh... Maybe. I don't know. I don't really know how to work click and play that well. To be honest, I don't even know how to make it go into level 2. Have I heard of Age, and, uh, Age of Empires? I've heard of it. I've played the third one, I think. Because Microsoft had it on sale at one point a couple years back for a penny. But, um... It's fun enough. Not super great or uh, super great at it. You found the perfect dating sim for me. Oh, that's sexy. God. How does it? Oh, does it feel good to pump my own gas? I hate it. I don't know what I'm doing. Every time I just fumble around the pump. It's like, I guess I put the nozzle in the nozzle receptacle and then I pull the thing on the pump and hit the trigger which keeps falling off and gas is more expensive here and you have to pump it yourself whereas in Jersey people pump it for you and it's like 50 cents cheaper. So... I'm just spoiled by Jersey. I should trick my car out and stream it. It's not that impressive. Don't worry. Hmm. Third Age of Empires isn't that great. I thought it was okay, but it's the only one I played, so it's really all I know. Ah, uh, yeah, it's about 380, 390 for gas here at the moment in Maryland. Yeah, in New Jersey, you are not allowed to pump your own gas. You pull up to the pump, you roll down your window, somebody comes up to you, you say, fill it with regular or whatever you normally put in your tank, and then they pump it, and you just sit there in the car. You can't do it yourself. You are not allowed to, by law. And that's how it goes. And it's the same in Oregon, and that's it. Only state that's like that. You don't tip them. At least I've never tipped them. Every now and then they'll clean your windshield, which is nice. That's really it. That's what I'm used to. In not New Jersey, it's just sort of, oh, what do I do with the gas receptacle thing? D do I spray the gas all over the car and it gets in by osmosis? Like, d do I just spray it in the engine? Like, I don't know. Can they call the cops on you if you pump your own gas? I... I guess if they tell you, No, sir, please, stop pumping your own gas, and you just refuse. 
just make a fuss, he make a big scene, like, no, I'm pumping my gas. Then I guess? But if you just pick up the pump, they'd probably just say, no, no, put it down. But they wouldn't call the cops on you or anything. That would be sort of silly. Yeah, just spray it in the car and the seats soak it up. That's how it works. I don't know if the uh, gas pumps in Jersey are any different because it is a full-service place and not a self-service place. You know, if they have directions on them or not. I would guess they'd all be the same. I mean, why would they manufacture eh, manufacture new pumps specifically for Jersey? It seems like a bunch of wasted effort. I don't know. It's 3 a.m. And it's just one of these... You know, I can talk about random stuff, I guess, because I don't really have a whole lot that's really pressing in the game at the moment. As I've mentioned on streams before, I feel like half the reason I stream games at all is just because it's sort of a vector for talking about other things. I just feel like talking about stuff. Or just talking in general, not necessarily about a specific thing, and Twitch just lets me do that. And this is a game that doesn't require a whole lot of upkeep to, you know, make sure everything doesn't go to crap, so it works out. Game and I, I guess, fit together, I don't know. Do I have a list of games I play on stream? Not really a specific list, sort of sim-y things old programs that I can run in a virtual machine, but nothing super detailed. I just talk to myself, why do I need Twitch? Well, if I talk to myself, nobody really replies. So, that's a bit of a problem. Do I check Twitch PMs regularly? I do, and I also got yours. How do you fill the red emergency gas cans? Uh, if you wanted, you would just go and say, hey, Fill up this can, and then they fill it. You know, if you need to start a lawnmower or something. I feel like for people who have not had their gas regularly pumped for them, the idea of that happening is super bizarre. As bizarre as it is for me to have to pump it myself when I'm not in New Jersey. That's the thing. Will they pump the gas into your mouth? That's a good question. Um, probably not, but I, maybe, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've never asked, maybe I should, or maybe I should one day, just, hey, can you, uh, fill it with regular, also, can I have, like, a squirt in my mouth, please, I just want some gas in there. I, I know I know you're not supposed to eat it, but just could you just do it? Don't tell anyone. No one needs to know. Hmm. Pumping gas is easy. Yeah, I think gas is one of those smells that you feel like you know I shouldn't like how this smells. But you do, and you feel like a nut job after. But it's hard to explain. Would I play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3D? Probably not. I don't really have any way to stream it. 3DS capture devices are really, really expensive. On the order of like three or four hundred dollars. 
Do you have to tip the gas pump or you don't? This is, I, I guess you could. If you really like him. Or her. If you think the person who pumped your gas is cute. I, you could. I've never done it. If you ask for five dollars of gas and he goes over, does he charge you? Uh... No, because it's set to go to five. Like the machine, if you say, Can I have five bucks? Will not give you more than five bucks of gas. I'm a bad gas tipper. Am I? I don't think anyone does it. I, I could look, I could Google. How much do you tip a gas pumper? Yeah, find love at the gas station. 20% gas? I, God, now I'm gonna actually look. How much do you tip a gas pumper? Tip your gas attendant? No. No one tips the attendants. I've actually never heard of anyone tipping them. Ever. <laughs> yeah, no one does it. You sit there while some random person stands next to your car and pumps gas into it. No, they just walk away as the gas pumps. They don't just watch you. Do I at least say thanks? I... Yes, I guess. It's not like a thing I consciously think about. Like, oh, did I say thanks to that gas guy? Damn it, I don't remember. It's just... Kind of like an automatic thing to say thank you to everything, so... Y you probably do, yes. Why do they have that rural New Jersey? I want to say it's an employment thing. You know, there's more jobs if you can have mandatory gas attendance, but I'm not sure. Do you ever talk to them? Nope, because they just walk away. They stick the pump in the tank and leave. They are so lonely. Yeah, the gas attendant comes to work every day. Oh, I hope someone talks to me today. <laughs> now it's just sort of depressing. Thanks for the gas, you too. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna make it to this, huh? Eh, yeah, probably should. I should stream the next gas attendant, I see. <laughs> yep, perfect. Hey, uh, yeah, I, I do this thing on the internet. Can I... You know, look, can I just stream your face? Is, is that okay? I, I know you're just a gas attendant. I know you're nobody special. I, I know it sounds weird, but... Just... Just this one time, please. That'd be great. Oh, it's a fire hazard thing? Well, whatever the case is. Thankful I don't need to do it. Probably shouldn't say stream your face. Yeah. Maybe I could phrase that a little bit better. Did Twitch just die? Yeah. It seems to be doing that now and then. Do gas men get a chair to sit down between Phillips? Okay. Oh, this is when Team Cola got cholera. It's this. You have a pump, and a pump, and a gas, a gas hut, and it's got a little door, and a little table, and the gas man 
sits here on his gas butt with his gas hat. And there's a TV. That's about it. And then you drive your car, and you put it here. I don't even know if this is on the screen. Yeah, it is. And then the gas goes into your car, and then the gas attendant forgets, and your car explodes. Am I helping? Does this clarify anything? I'd like to think so. Now you know what it's like to live in New Jersey. Ta-da. Maybe he streams on Twitch. Yep, yeah, maybe. Does the gas man have a cape? Ah, if only. That's a great drawing of a car. Oh, here. I'll... I'll finish this up for you. I entitled this piece, The Gas Man. Uh, Comic Sans, Comic Sans, there we go. Alright, and let me just sign this. Genius. Yeah, I believe in open source stuff, so you can all have a free public domain copy of... Oh, date it, you're right. Um... There. You can all have a free open edition of The Gas Man. Sure, the Jolly Torby. Send me an email, we'll work out a deal. There. I did it. The Gas Man. Enjoy. It'll spruce up dens anywhere. Not even in New Jersey, exclusively, but in any state, regardless of who pumps your gas. Your new desktop background, oh god. And now no one will ever use your computer. You know, you never know it. I'm just gonna bust out another artistic masterpiece midstream. That's why you have to watch them all. Modern art. I'd like to think it's both modern and captures traditional aspects of American Impressionism. Monotone backgrounds. I'll just do a stream where I just do awful art. And just give me... suggestions and it just gets rendered in paint. As a new agent, you have to strongly advise me against distributing the masterpiece for free. You know of several private collectors and art exhibitions that would pay top dollar for an exclusive original copy. Well, that's an open edition print. The actual piece itself. I can make a print copy of. From the artist's own printer. Why I'm wasting paper on this is beyond me. Oh, but... <laughs> I just jammed. God damn it. Oh no. Um, hang on. Uh. Oops. I guess that's not happening. Alright. You got the sprinter. Oh, is it printing again?
Oh no, not again. Why do I even own a printer? Who does this help? It doesn't even look like anything, it's just a line. Come on, one more time. Please, printer. Killing me here. Don't jam, don't jam. God damn it! What is it stuck on? Like, legitimately, it's not. It's not even anywhere near the actual picture. I mean, I'll tweet. Here, I'll upload it. Give me a minute. Uh, upload. It just doesn't work. The problem is I bought a Canon laser printer. And I bought off-brand ink cartridges for it, which have, given, or which have been totally non-functional ever since I bought them. God damn it! Okay, fine. I'm not printing it anymore. Yeah, the, the off-brand toner, excuse me, has pretty much just jammed every time. Alright, let, let me show you what I'm experiencing here. Why do I not have the link to this? It's... Q998A9B. <laughs> Welcome to my personal printer hell. This is what I get every time, and it never gets any farther than this. So it gets caught about here. Once this actually starts printing, it just doesn't know what to do. Is it getting stuck? I need to print stuff in this printer eventually. What? Why is it mad at me? Is there something wrong with the toner? No? Looks okay. I think. Yeah, it seems alright. Come on, printer. I believe in you. But God knows I shouldn't. God! You know what? I hate you. I hate you, printer. You're... You suck. You suck at everything. Whatever. I'm, I'm just not even going to unjam you. I mean, maybe there's something wrong with the paper, every sheet, I have no idea. No, it's a good printer, I like this printer. It's, you know, it works, it's just I bought super cheap toner from some super dodgy brand because I didn't want to spend 70 bucks for official Canon toner and now it it's just not happy and I live with it but I haven't printed anything in ages and now you can sort of tell why printer doesn't like me apparently not something stronger than that tea about this. Hmm. Where am I even gonna connect this? That's not gonna work. 
That's not gonna work. It's not gonna make this. Oh, maybe it will. Hmm. Set up a Kickstarter for it. Kickstart Tim's art career. Only a million dollars. I'll also start a podcast. Do I have any past Roller Coaster Tycoon VODs that are head and shoulders above the rest? I don't know. They all sort of blend together after a while. Oh, go away, Jungle Tree. Don't give me a million Franker Z for that picture. Oh, for the printer. I don't know. I know I had a second ink cartridge, but I think I might have left it at home. Oh, I'm out of money. Try the new mobile injury site. No thanks, I'm good. Oh, Micropark is pretty good. Also, happy birthday then, Swee555. Five, five, five. Take out more loans. Too late. I'm already broke. Sell the gas man on eBay, then use the money for that to buy new toner. Tempting. Oh god, I have to blow this tree up. Uh, I don't know if Farm Sim is necessarily a good recording. Farm Sim, the recordings are super low quality. Because it was my old microphone. I think it'll be. Where I sounded like this. this. May or may not be the Which you might not even be able to hear. Thing ever. In fact, no, it will simultaneously. The but the and the worst things we adjusted the files of the tractor. If anyone was here for this, if it to shoot it into space. Good. Okay. To stream my YouTube videos. That is literally what I'm there. doing. Stop that. What mic do I have now? A blue Yeti. This was some Logitech USB. Oh no! I think I've got thing. the tractor stuck. It was twenty dollars. Is this where it shoots into space? Or is this another part? Game. Oh, I don't even remember. Yeah, let's... I'm not dramatically let's younger in this. It's 2011. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Why am I even trying? Farm Sim. Oh. Every time you just yeah, hit on the accelerator, it just Finally went. Do some work. I had the same right. thing with uh, Train Sim, but then Train Sim updated, and uh, it overwrote all the files, and they don't work anymore. So now my train is no longer go to space, which is a bit of a bummer. Oh well. Must finish scenario. Oh, come on. I'm so close to having this ride done. I don't even know if it's going to work. Come on, game. Ah. That's my dumb YouTube channel, yeah. I don't really post a lot on it. I don't really do a lot of stuff on YouTube. Just Twitch stuff, and that's about it. It's almost done. 95, 80, 85. No. No. <laughs> Stop being broke. It's almost there. One day, this will be not extremely tedious. 
I'm afraid today might not be that day. If I were president, would I make it illegal to pump your own gas? Yes, I would. It would be my economic stimulus. Think of all the jobs you'd get if every gas station had to have at least two or three people hired at any given time. It just works so well. And you could be lazy. And it wouldn't raise the price either, because Jersey's got pretty much the cheapest gas in the country, and people pump it for you. You put the two together, and it all works out. Cheap gas, and you shouldn't allow attendants to pump their own gas. I don't care if that's what you do for a living, you're not allowed to pump your own gas. There has to be attendance for the attendance. And then attendants for the attendance for the attendance. Etc. Think about it. Infinite jobs. There you go. I've solved economy. All of it. No, they don't trade places. You don't have attendants pumping another attendance gas. You have attendants specifically set aside to pump the gas of other attendants. Yeah, I just fixed the world. All of it. Every problem is solved just by not letting people pump their own gas. Do you see how easy this is? Just do a write-in ballot for me. And maybe we'll win on my new self-service gas station platform. It's, it's actually the only platform I run on. The rest of it is just non-existent. I, I figure if you let enough people not pump their own gas, eventually everything will work out. We'll have world peace, solve world hunger. You know... A lot of... Okay, think about it. World peace. Pump your own gas. War? Fought over oil. But why would you fight for oil if you can go down to your local gas station and have a friendly gas attendant pump it for you? Nothing to fight over. Vote for me. Thank you. And don't say I'm oversimplifying the issue. Because I'm clearly not. In a nutshell, self-service gas saves everything. World hunger, you know, if you go to a gas station, chances are it'll have a mini-mart. If you're starving, you could have your car gassed up by someone else, then you could go to the mini-mart and eat food. And then you won't be starving anymore, and you get your car filled. Think about it. It all makes sense, and you know it does. There are no loopholes. In fact, I'm gonna cut back on loopholes and corruption, because we're only going to hire the finest gas attendants, who will no longer cheat the gas system. No more, you have to worry about people abusing self-service pumps. Our highly trained gas attendants will take care of all that for you. What mods do I use? None of them. Or, no mods. In the game, anyway. What if someone tries to steal your car? Uh... Why would you steal a car if you got your gas pumped by someone else? Just think about it. I see no problems there. Wouldn't you be in your car? You, you could be. 
The gas attendant has a duty to defend your car from thieves and prying eyes. Who are the finest people? Are they college educated and what moral system do they apply themselves to? Well, we will apply only the finest philosopher kings to the position of gas station attendant. We'd like them to have a strong moral, com or a moral compass and should anything go awry at the gas station, we'd like them to apply their philosophy to any potential crisis, be it a gas fire or a robbery. So the ability to talk the problem away is very important to us. We believe in non-violence at the gas station. Wouldn't want to create an explosive situation. Yeah, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. <clears throat> Aristotle would be the ideal gas attendants in my city-state in New Jersey. What custery? What custery? Custom scenery or rides do I have? Uh, all the rides I've made myself. Uh, the scenery just is whatever comes in the game. It's literally just Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 off a of GOG. You don't think about it, my campaign writes itself. All I need to do to campaign is just go to gas stations and pump people's gas. There you go. I'll just tweet pictures of me pumping gas. Instagram pictures of me pumping gas. There you go. I think you should vote immediately. Because you're not going to find a candidate that runs on a platform better than that. Must save Bark. Oh god, it's just barf. How is it just barf? Must open ride. It's probably good enough. High, very high, high. Okay, great. Open. Will I be at the ribbon cutting ceremony for your new gas station? Every time a new gas station opens, I will declare it a national holiday. Kids get off from school. In fact, kids get free cars in order to get them pumped by gas attendants. It's a candidate running on a platform of renewable energy and green cars. I think that candidate hates America and is working to undermine the values we have worked so hard to instill in this great country in this land of gas and gas attendance we should not accept anyone who would corrupt our ideals if you have an electric car then what is a robot gonna pump it for you are are you just gonna eliminate jobs with robots entirely is is that the platform he runs on cuz you know once you have electric cars, you're going on the slippery slope of roboticizing the entire workforce. And then you and your family will be at a job as robots reap the rewards. Alright? That's what I think about my opponent in this race. Later then, Colnab. What if we run out of fossil fuels? We won't, there. <laughs> That's what I think about that. Hmm. Thank you, Skater Swag 05. You did it. Yeah, just make more fossils. Work for Animal Crossing. New fossils every day. Robots need to have their gas pumped too. Under my leadership, gas attendants would pump the gas for robots. Whereas my opponent thinks robots should pump the gas for other robots. I don't think so. 
This is not the America I know. Vote Monotone Tim for president. How much is the park worth now? Uh, 220 grand. So I have to build something else. Hmm. If there's a large enough growth in electric car ownership, will there be more growth and thus more jobs in the energy sector? Under my presidency, electric cars would be illegal, leading to nothing but unparalleled growth in the gas, gas pumping, mini mart, and gas guzzler industry. There would be no electric cars to worry about, no competitions to undermine our gas stations, our full service stations, and therefore any rise in electric car ownership would just be just a blip on the radar. Just an odd quirk you can ignore completely. What about equal rights for robots? Robots can have equal rights, but they cannot get anywhere near a gas pump. That's too far. I, I will not... I will not back down from this stance. What you're saying is you support big oil and other big corporations taking over the newly established and growing clean energy market primarily fueled by small business. Yes. Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. But I would like to make a point. It also clears the path for new mom-and-pop self-service marts, free to hire a new wave of employees. I'm not necessarily for big oil. I'm just for oil, just gas in general and the people that pump that gas. That's what America was founded on. Who pumped up, who filled George Washington's horse, huh? Wasn't a robot, I could tell you that much. It was an honest, hard-working American man with a gas nozzle at a self-service, a full-service gas mart. That is what our country was founded on. I think we need to get bumper stickers, me too. Take out a loan, I've already maxed them. I can't get more, the bank's catching on. <laughs> You're half robot, will you be able to work at a gas pump? Only after sundown. Abe Lincoln would have been late to the Gettysburg Address if he had to pump his own gas, it's true. What is my opinion on European stations like BP competing with American ones? I think it's okay. I think it's good for the consumer to have choice in the gas. However, I would disagree that they should have stations that aren't full service. So as long as BP is willing to comply with our regulations for full service only gas stations, I am totally on board with them. That's what I think about that. Tim, numerous times in this interview you've referred to your full service gas market plan as a self-service gas market, the polar opposite of what you're actually proposing. Does this free and slip carry any significance? No? This interview's over. Someone drive me to a gas station. I need to smile and kiss some babies. Oh god, I can't even build this anywhere. I need to kiss some gas attendants. <laughs> People are just holding up their baby to me as the presidential candidate. And it just, oh, you don't want this thing. Oh, a gas pump, I'm gonna kiss that. Have I gone crazy? Maybe I'm the only one who's not crazy. Yeah, it's four in the morning. I've been trying to build this roller coaster for ages. It's not going anywhere. 
What else am I going to talk about? Will the gas stations have nightclubs? I don't see why not. Ten cents. Tim Stream will now be sponsored by BP. Hmm. out some changes to my stream at the moment. I think these changes would be good if we can all take some time to just get... Oh, that's not the one. It's... Take some time to get used to them. I think we'll all appreciate what I'm doing to the stream. Alright, this is my new platform. I think we'll all agree it's good for America. <laughs> this is the dumbest stream. Dream is actually just sponsored by Big Oil this whole time. Now you know my awful secret. What? Well, I made a couple of slight changes to the stream, which I think will improve overall quality. Oh, go away, Jungle Tree. You're not gas. All oh, the coasters in the way. As it always is. Oil Tycoon confirmed for the next game I played. I don't know. I should make all the guests in the rides gas themed. Genius. I should. Now let me get rid of all these. I'm not gonna get this hard hitting politicizing anywhere else. Just on my dumb channel. Clearly being paid under the table, yeah. I'm actually trying to get whatever the 76 station is out of the market in favor of local brands like BP. Oh, go away, jungle trees. Why can't I blow these up? I think if alternate fuel methods could integrate themselves into such a way where they could be pumped by gas attendants. I am in favor of them. New dating sim. You have to lobby a congressman as a gas company executive. Genius. How did the stream even come to this? Like, what, what even happened? So why do I have bplogo.jpg on my desktop? Can you pump electricity? I could try. You know, electric cars still need a plug to be in the plug receptacle. Otherwise known as a socket. So that could be done by gas attendants. You think I had a good idea which was eventually corrupted. 
I don't think anything got corrupted. I think the original vision is still intact. <laughs> this is the dumbest stream I've ever done. The dumbest of the dumb. And I've done some pretty stupid streams before. In September year three, if we pick the other scenario, we'd be done. That's true. That is true. Hey, you guys voted. <laughs> you leave for five minutes and we're still talking about gas services. Uh, the conversation's on the way out, I think. Reports coming in that my wife was forced to use mini chip clips to hold her hair up today because we refused to invest money in hair ties. Some are claiming this reflects poorly on your money grubbing big business priorities. I think my wife should go somewhere where she could have hair ties pumped onto her head, presumably in a full service environment. That's what I have to say about that. I would also like if somebody were to pump me a wife. How will my government model help the LBGT community? We're an equal opportunity fill station employer. We respect people of all sexualities and gender identifications in our gas station pumping dream. Does full service mean that the gas station provides hair service? Yeah, I don't see why not. In fact, if I'm elected president, within 10 years, everything you've ever known and loved will come out of the form of a pump. Just, just anything. You pump it out, and there you go. I live in a pump-based economy. If you want a book, you can get that book pumped to you. Just go to your friendly gas station and say, one book, please. Hold out your hands, and they will pump a book right into them. My campaign slogan, pump it out. Genius. Can't wait for the Xbox pump. Connect support pump station 4 yes we pump hashtag just pump it genius you would stick a Nutella pump directly into your mouth well under my presidency you'd be able to do just that In fact, soon, I predict in a hundred years, you will soon be able to pump yourself to your workplace. You just jump in the pipe, and the nozzle spits you out right at your desk. And yes, it will support a steering wheel. Would it be like one of the tubes at the bank? Pretty much, yeah. Someone watched Futurama? Honestly, I didn't. I've never really watched Futurama. Is that a thing that's in that? I I'd like to take the time to clarify that any similarity of my campaign promises to other pieces of media or things that exist in the world are completely coincidental. What do I think of statistics implying the majority of violence in this country is toward... Ro or Majority of the violence in this country toward robots is caused by other robots. Do I have any plans to curve robot on robot violence? Is relations with the growing robot minority a priority for me? I feel that if... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I can work this into my pump thing. I was going to say, if robots were... At the full service pump station, they would be free from crime, but then I realized an earlier policy prevents robots from even working at the gas pumps. 
Um, God, I... I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that. Of course, robot-on-robot -robot violence is a main... A main concern for our... Our campaign, but... I think... If we took some time, we could pump some peace... Into this growing violent crime, which... Breaks my heart... Whenever I see it occur. Is it illegal for you to marry a pump? No. If you want to be pumped with love, I've got no problem. In fact, the more time you spend around your gas pump, the better. And how... How could you spend more time with your gas pump if you're living with it? Clearly, you have reached Pump Vana. You've reached a higher plane of pump existence. Pump existence. What is my response to allegations that I'm basically proposing a mail service? I would pump those accusations out of the question. Because I think any sane human being would be able to determine the difference between what my proposals are and what the US mail already provides. Some robots are considering the term robot violence and how it breaks my heart, considering the often noted fact that robots do not possess a biological heart, often associated with the human spectrum. Leaders in the robot community are insisting you publicly apologize. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that sentence is getting at, but I feel like I have an idea. And... I feel that... I, I am sorry if my words came off as insensitive to the robot community, but I feel what I said, I pumped with integrity and honest, I pumped those words out of my mouth, and this does not mean I care little for the issue of robot-on-robot -robot violence, but I, I feel as a human and non-robot that it breaks my heart as much as it fries their circuits. Oh, it's almost done. Boop. Do do. There we go. Close, close, test. I made this image to support my presidential campaign. Genius. That's, that's brilliant. Thank you. This will start our grassroots campaign to pump this country in the right direction. A question from Tumblr. Do you believe a gas nozzle has too much resemblance to the patriarchy, and what plans do I have to make amends to this? Uh, I believe the gas pump is a timeless design that should not be altered. And I'm sorry if the shape of a gas pump offends somebody, but sometimes you just have to admit the way something looks is probably that way for a reason, and there's no reason to tamper with our lovely gas pump designs. Gas pumps are designed in such a way to work, not to oppress. Will Inquisitors be sent to naysayers to convert them to pumpism? Probably. We will pump the truth into them. Ah, uh, I connect this? heard rumors of me wanting to make the official American religion pumpism. Is this true? Um... It, it won't be mandatory to convert to pumpism. 
but we really like if you did. Members of the Pumpus Church will receive tax breaks and free miniature American flags. But you are free to believe whatever you want. As long as these beliefs do not spill over into the public sphere. Since all electric cars are being recalled, what will the fine be to someone who is keeping one and hiding it? Will it be the default cost of drugs being found? I, I would like to state that since we are recalling all electric cars to make them compliant with pump standards, if you are found hiding an electric car and keeping it free from modifications, in our pump-based world, I consider that a capital offense. We will pump you to death. Oh, this ride is broken. I think I need another mechanic. How many rides are broken? Two. Do, 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 do. You. Cake Sphere. Will we ever stop about or stop talking about pumping? I don't know. This is my life now. Some of my supporters feel the American flag should be altered to suit your new pump empire. Do I agree with the sentiment, and do I have ideas on how the flag should be altered? Uh... Yes, I, I think we need a new flag design. And I propose this. So up here is our gas pump, which represents just gas, of course. And then we will have three lines on our flag, four lines in fact. This is for regular, this is for uh, mid-grade, this is for premium, and this is for diesel. This is what I think our flag should look like, and my proposed color scheme is something like this for our new pump-based American flag. Oops, not like that, though. Alright. Perfect. This is what I think the American flag should look like in our new pump base world. And this is left to be white to indicate the purity and the sanctity of the pump itself. One must not forget unleaded. Uh, all gas will be unleaded. If I'm elected president, there will be no leaded gas. Tim didn't choose the pump life. The pump life chose Tim. The lead is the devil's metal. While we don't actively shame pre-existing robots, we're afraid that people that get high exposure to lead may become more robotic in nature. So while we don't have any problem with the current existing robot population, we're not looking to necessarily increase that population or any sort of risks to people that might, in turn, make them more robotic than they otherwise would have been. Oh god, this question is gigantic. What is happening? The pumping stations are increasingly seen as potential battlegrounds of the future where a few casualties would be in the warfare. Or while there would be a few casualties in such warfare, it would have an impact on the pumping world. I agree. While the natural or the national 
Oh my god, I can't even read this. While the director of national... National... Pump Intelligence has poured cold water over the idea that there might be a digital pump harbor in the next few years. The possibility that pump-related attacks could knock out the U.S. pumping grid has been recognized. What are pump-induced attacks, and what are the proposed target sanctions? Uh, uh, well, I think anyone who would fight against gas pumps is un-American, and anyone seen, anyone who is not a gas attendant, see I'm, I'm tough on gas pump crime, alright? I think anyone who isn't a gas attendant, who gets near a gas pump, at a full service station as they all will be, will be prosecuted. They're clearly up to no good. They should know, in our pump-based economy, there is no need to ever approach a gas pump, ever in their lives, period. So, any suspicious pumping activity we would like you to report to your local pump director? Uh, we, we do not. We recognize that, yes, pumps may be considered potential tactical strike zone, for enemies who do not respect the way of the pump, but we feel that with a vigilant populace keeping an eye out for illicit pumping, that we can curb this threat. Also, woohoo, go America. What will be done towards so-called robosexuals or those attracted to robots? Will they be tolerated or will inquisitors be sent to, oh, and that's off the screen. We respect people of all colors and creeds, including people who I want to pursue domestic partnerships with robots. Um, as long as the robots are kept away from gas pumps, we feel that whatever makes you happiest should be legalized in this country. Also, whatever does not harm the gas pumps. What do I say about the new self-replicating robot models? <laughs> yes, the robots that are currently self-replicating will be forced to no longer self-replicate. That is... That is untenable. Unacceptable. I cannot have self-replicating robots, especially near high-profile gas pump targets. What are my thoughts on the uprising cult known as the Westboro Pumpist Church and their hate toward robosexuals? How will I deal with their malice? Well, clearly we do not tolerate hate. Pumps are seen as a way to increase the amount of happiness and tolerance in this country. I, I do not feel that, although the Westboro Pumpist Church feels they can fight in the name of pumps, we feel that they are fighting for pumps incorrectly, and we would write them a sternly written letter telling them to be more accepting, and also giving them 10% off their next fill-up. Virginia Reel's dead. Ah, oh, it's back. Made a poster for the campaign. Oh, God damn it! I broke the chat. Looks like this. Uh, back. Now I can't even see the chat. My bad. I thought that was gonna open in a new window. Hey, I can pay down some loan. Boop. What's my opinion about the increasing robo population in Canada? I do not think the increasing robot population in Canada is a threat as long as we maintain a strong border against the Canadian menace, the Canadian robo-menace. As long as we prevent Canadian robots from immigrating to the United States, I see no problem with what goes on within Canadian borders. <laughs> what do I say toward my allegations of me cheating with the pump on my robot wife? 
I do not have a robot wife. I think rumors of me having a robotic mistress are entirely, entirely fraudulent. I would like to clarify that now. And I have not, nor have I ever cheated with a gas pump in my life. I'm not a crook. I did not have pumpule relations with that woman. There was no pumping involved between me and her. It was just a simple fill-up. What if you stumbled into? I have... <laughs> gas pumps in my new election campaign? Robots turning into pumps. I, I feel that could be a, a good alternative to the increasing menace of the robot population. If we were to be able to convert these robots into fully functional gas pumps, it would act to both eliminate a threat to national security and increase the amount of full service stations across the country. Many are considering the alleged conspiracy that you are possibly yourself a robot, only in place to incite a justified robot uprising to further robotic sentiment among the country. Can I comment on this developing issue? If I were a robot, I wouldn't be able to laugh. And, quite clearly, that's something I am capable of. Ha ha! Ha! Ha ha ha! Next question. Am I in favor of genetically modified pumps? I feel genetically modified pumps are entirely safe and should be accepted by the populace. There's nothing to fear with either genet or genetically modified pumps or the gas that comes out of them. Will pumping your gas, or do I feel... I, I feel that... Unless I'm a registered gas station attendant, no, I should not be able to pump your own gas. Even as the president of this pumping nation. Hmm. What is my stance on pumpism's dependency of fossil fuels and the allegations that oil and brown is made of robots? I, I do not comment on rumors and speculation, and at the moment I don't feel our dependence on gas pumps or the divine gas that comes out of them poses any threat to our nation's security. How early should children learn how to pump gas? As soon as they're learning their ABCs, we need to learn them the difference, we need to teach them the difference between regular, diesel, mid-grade and premium fuel. Also how to operate a pump, should one choose to go into the noble field of gas jockey. More campaign materials? <laughs> Pumpism. Believe in your tank will always be full. Beautiful. What are my thoughts on cheaply made gas pumps? that are made in overseas countries. Well, I feel our country should only be full of the finest quality pumps, ideally domestically made or from one of our many allies across the pumping country. In fact, the pumping world, I mean. So, shoddily made gas pumps are simply just a threat to national security, but that should not dissuade you from the glory and the convenience and the economic stimulus that is the modern day gas pump. Also, let me save. Will there be some sort of device to make sure pumping attendants are not pumping under the influence? Yes. In fact, 
we're, we're also gonna be, like make booze illegal. It's we're criminalizing alcohol, but let's let's focus on the pump part. That's what we're seriously considered about. Yeah. Ignore that other part. Pictures have been released showing me in high school hanging out with robots, even defiling a pump. Comments? That is a, a, a specific instance that I do not remember, but if the actions of me in high school, including robots and gas pumps, happen to offend anybody, I'm profoundly sorry. Do I click? Yep, vote. Why not? What is my opinion on people who don't use pumps? I feel they're misguided, but it's okay. We can show them the way to a successful pumping future. This has got to be the weirdest thing for people to stumble on in. Like, absolutely the most bizarre anything. It's been reported that you have gone on more than one... You've gone on more than one mass gas pump killing spree. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> You're still trying to explain to your husband what you're watching. Uh, roller coaster tycoon and gas pump... things? How difficult will the gas pump attendant application exam, the GPAAEB, as gas station attendants are in control of the majority of our pump-based technology, I feel you would have to have stringent restrictions on who may become a gas station attendant. I agree. I feel becoming a gas pump attendant is the highest honor you can receive in our country, and therefore the GPAAE will be both difficult yet approachable. You don't need to study for it. It will just measure your aptitude in various subjects that are vital to proper pumping, such as being able to identify the smell of gas, being able to put the nozzle in the gas tank, and being able to say, have a nice day with a smile to every customer you meet. Is it true, my current residence, I'm not pumping my own gas? That is true, I'm not currently pumping my gas, mainly because we have not yet finished the gas pumping entrance exam. As a result, we have no officially certified gas attendants, but once we do, you'll be sure I'll be hiring them for my own private residence here at the White House if I'm elected president. Rumors have it that you'll soon run out of gas to pump in the future. Is this false? Even if fossil fuels run out, the gas pumps will continue to pump out liquid. The liquid they will pump has not yet been completely determined yet. My cabinet and I are working on that. But never fear, as your gas pumps will always remain operational, even if what they are dispensing is not gas. <laughs> what am I even doing? It's 4.30 in the morning. Will this new branch of pumpism called Pumpyism derive from the old-fashioned ideals of Judaism be allowed to practice the radical sect of Pumpyism or will existing peace measures protect them? As long as they show the proper amount of reverence toward our gas pumps, I see no reason to discriminate on these new sects of Pumpyism. What's my park value? 241,000. There are rumors the GP the GPAAE gas pump attendant uh, something exam letting underqualified illegal Im illegal immigrants 
Soot through the cracks and allowed to pump our gas. Why are Americans losing pumping jobs to those who aren't worthy? Well, clearly we need more attendance to attend to the GPAAE exam. To pump that exam to our exam takers. More heightened security standards will prevent anybody from passing the GPAAE when they're unqualified to do so. Do I plan on using force to spread pumpism to countries who insist on pumping their own fuel? Currently, that is not one of our campaign goals. We would like to remain an isolationist pumping nation. However, should a nation insist on transferring their current pumping technology from self-pump to full service, we would like to have the opportunity to advise them in any way possible. If a pump appears to be broken, how would it be able to operate? Well, we just have to send some gas pump attendant technicians over to fix it. Until then, the gas pump would remain unoperational, and we'd like you to go to a different gas station to receive your full service. Hmm. I think my roommate put something in my tea. I probably did. Maybe it's just all the mold that's apparently growing in my summer place. How will you be able to spot a phony gas man from an official one? Well, phony... Um... All gas pumps will not function unless an official gas attendant is able to activate the pump. We have that locked down via fingerprint. So, for a gas attendant to be able to dispense gas, they must first scan their fingerprint on the gas dispenser pump, and then gas will flow gas will flow freely, preventing any risk for unauthorized users of the pumps. David Winlow gets ignored. I don't Sure? I don't know what he said. Will gasmen be cross-trained in air pumps for tires as well? Uh, we believe that the public should be able to use air pumps regardless of their training or proficiency on the GPAAE. Uh, we feel that allowing the public to freely operate air pumps will give them the experience of pumping gas without the dangers involved. Therefore, they will be able to remain ever vigilant should the need ever arise for more gas pump men, for more gas attendants. So should they need to take the exam, they will already have a leg up by using an air pump. He asked me about furries. What about furries? This is one of the strangest streams you've ever seen from me and every other streamer. Yeah, it's kind of out there, but it's also almost 5 in the morning. Hmm. There has been talk of a civil war over differences in job availability to robots. How do I plan to keep the pump base union together? At present, I will not tolerate any secession from robots or robot-led nations, or states. However, I feel that should we be unable to reconcile the differences between robots and humans, we can send all the robots off to a little island, and there they can live in their own robot society, and we can have America for people and gas pumps. What do I think of furries? Like, I don't know. I don't really think anything. If it's a thing that they do, and if the fandom makes them happy, then why not? 
really care too terribly much. What happens to the half-robots when I send the robots away? We will give the half-robots a choice whether or not they want to stay in America or be shipped off to the robot island. It'll be totally up to the half-robots. And we will work on a massive public re-education campaign to be sure that the half-robots face no discrimination. Well, we're only really worried about domestic gas pumps here. I doubt I've heard of Fox Moore's music. You're right. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Your mother's side is robots. Unfortunately, mom is recharging at the moment, so she can't comment. By nonprofit organization, Proper Pumping has had some violent clashes with the dinosaur protests, which has been growing in numbers. Anything to say to either group to end the violence? Look, let's all be friends and pump as one nation. I'm sorry for any outbursts that proper pumping may have contributed to. I can assure you any intentions from them may have been good. However, as it's being my organization, any sort of criminal activity any sort of violence will not be tolerated, and I'm looking to re-educate those in proper pumping who may have contributed to any of these outbursts. There have recently been stories of anti-pumpists being sent to domestic internment camps. Are these allegations true? I, I don't like to think of them as internment camps, I like to think of them as pumping fun houses. Were you? in a room, maybe three by three feet, get to spend some quality time with the gas pump for literally weeks on end. And I can't think of anything more enjoyable than that. It's a vacation, it's not punishment. Is it true that I'm wearing pumps while I'm streaming? Uh, despite my affinity for the gas pump, I do not own a pair of pumps. Will robots be allowed in the Pump Enforcement Agency? Our pump security is of vital importance. Will there help be needed or are we actually secure at the pumps? I believe the security measures we have currently initiated are enough to protect our gas pumps. I feel that potentially introducing robots into the Pump Enforcement Agency may indeed decrease the security we have and we expect as Americans at the pump. So. Robot help will not be needed at the PEA. The allegations of Guantanamo pump remaining open despite previous president's claims of closing it. I feel Guantanamo pump should be remained, or should be uh, kept open, as it's a way to introduce pumpism to those who may never have heard of the concept before. Are pumps capable of love? Uh, no, they're not. It's just now been released that the shell, or that shell would like to fund my campaign for 2016 and hope I'd be able to fix the economy with my amazing ideas. Any thoughts on this? Uh, I would welcome Shell's contribution to my campaign with open arms and a free-flowing pump. I feel that Shell's a leading innovator in gas pump technology, and as a result, I think Shell's contribution is overall a good thing. Do I find the rising popularity in my robot rival James Geercrank's idea of using vacuum instead of pumps as a threat? If so, what will I do to convince future voters of why to vote for pumps versus vacuums? Two words. Vacuums suck. Next question, please. The island I sent the robots to has been discovered to have large deposits of oil underneath it. How do I propose to deal with this problem? 
I've got high reverence for the gas pump. As a result, I think we should have robots on Robot Island pump gas to America, which will then be pumped by gas station attendants to real Americans. That's my thought. Let me pay down this loan. <laughs> This is the weirdest stream I've ever done. Do I believe that the pump administration might get out of hand? No. I'm not even going to acknowledge the rest of your question because the first part is invalid. Recent photos of a supposed sex tape of you and a pump have spread across the internet. Is it true that I'm having an affair on my wife with the pump? I, I would implore you not to believe such depraved lies my opponent James Gearcrank is pumping out. Clearly James is a man, in fact is a robot. Mr. Gearcrank cannot be trusted. He'll do anything to sabotage me and my campaign. So, trust in the man you would like to see at the pump. Vote me for president. Okay, I'll click the link. There, I did it. Okay, great. No more. Actually, that was sort of rude. What did it actually say? Anything? Wait, I didn't mean to click that. I want to click that. There are allegations of me sending pictures of my pump to attractive ladies via text message. Pumps should not be robotic. We need pumps to be manually operated in order to provide jobs for Americans. That was the economic stimulus that fueled the pump plan from the beginning. That was the whole point of having pumps, to keep America employed. We're not letting robots take your jobs. That's final. Has pumping gone too far? We've been told that pumps cause physical strain and harms to those who use them, and there are multiple open federal cases where workers have been injured. Are pumps really the future? Simply because our current iteration of gas pumps may not be extremely comfortable to use, does not mean that the future of gas pumps is not bright. Care to comment on how Mr. Gear Cranks? made his decision to choose Al Gore as his running mate. I think it's a diversion. I think that Mr. Al Gore was only chosen as Mr. Gearcrank's running mate as an attempt to distract the public from his anti-pump stance. And I feel that the public is smart enough to see through this tactic, to see the man, the robot, that Mr. Gearcrank really is that he doesn't want you to know about. What is this? Pump. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. What are my thoughts on the recent acts of terrorism and the claims that terrorists have weapons of mass desuction? Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel that anybody that would knowingly vandalize, knowingly damage one of our pumps by desuction or otherwise should be incarcerated. High-heeled pumps keep prostitution pumping along through questionably protective pumping. Beautiful. Do I hate all of robot kind? 
I respect robots, but I feel they are not in my vision for America. However, it is an evolving issue, and I may change my opinion on that at any time. New campaign poster. Didn't I click this one? Keep calm and pump everything. Will eco pumps be available to those with electric cars? Uh, we are actually outright banning electric cars. Current allegations were said that I was sexting another female pump under the screen name Pumpos Danger. <laughs> that is that is a lie. I've never heard of Mr. Pumpos Danger before in my life. I've never solicited a gas pump at any time. Gearcrank's rebuttal has been announced. Latest studies to vacuums versus pumps have shown the vacuums can get items and people to a desired location 4% faster than pumps, also requiring less power to do so. My rebuttal. Not to reuse the same joke, but I'm sure the American people would not like to hop on the bandwagon for my opponent whose sole technology has the distinguished feature of merely just sucking all the time. Are we even playing the game? Yeah, I'm playing it. Keeping an eye on it. Cleaning up barf. How will I deal with the inevitable consumer addiction to gasoline projections, injections, or... Gasoline pills, injections, or drug use in the upcoming era? I, I disagree. I do not see gasoline pills as a serious problem that faces America, especially when they can go to their local full-service station and get pumped for a reasonable price and a smile. At what age is it legal and safe to pump? Can a 13-year-old teen pump? No. Uh, a pumper, a gas pumper, would have to pass the pumping entrance exam to become a licensed full-service station gas pumper. These exams are given out once you're 18 or older and are very rigorous and will make sure that you're able to pump safely. No other civilians will be able to operate a gas pump at the time. How's the park value? Oh god, 225,792. Save. Okay. Whistleblower Edward... <laughs> Whistleblower Edward Petrolden has been on the run ever since revealing the government is leaking and monitoring all of Americans' pumping habits. What actions do I plan on taking against him? <laughs> uh, well... I would like to take the time to confirm that Mr. Petrolden should return to America as soon as he is able because he is not doing his platform any benefits any favors by fleeing the country abandoning our gas pumps clearly the fact that he is unable to spread what he feels is the truth in this country of pump why can't I remove this? What? It's, it's literally right there, right? Means that his position is untenable. I don't know where I was going with this. But in any event, I can't delete this tree! Is it... Oh, God. I can't... Why? What? What is... It's not in the way! It's really not. Topic. Gas pumps. Pretty much. Part of the trees outside the park. Yeah, I was worried about that. How much money will be put into pump simulators to ensure that pumpers are properly trained? Uh, my cabinet will run simulations on that, but for the time being, we feel that the cost will be reasonable, and the trade-off for a safer,
time at the pump will be worth it to the American consumer. There are illegal robot immigrants coming back into the country from the robot island you made. There are already thousands among us doing cheap pumping labor. Do I deport you or grant amnesty? I feel that if we were to reintroduce robots into this country, especially after they've been deported, we are starting a slippery, or a slippery slope whereby other robots may feel they're entitled to then rejoin the country, despite the fact that their values are not congruent with ours. What is this roller coaster even supposed to be? I mentioned the pumping entrance exam, the PEE, would be under the age, or will people under the age of 18 be able to learn about pumps in school? Uh, pumping will be taught as uh, early as the first grade. However, a pumper cannot be certified until they're at least 18 years of age. Another campaign poster. Uh. <laughs> Genius. You did it. Gear Crank claims, and I quote, That is where you're wrong, Tim. The latest vacuum research shows that 90% of the vacuum market may suck or blow. My rebuttal. Well, Gear Crank, I think you may have dug your own grave on that, because... It is true that a vacuum may not always suck, but have to keep in mind that a pump never sucks. There is no sucking involved with a pump. Why would you want to embrace technology that might only suck some of the time? Don't lower your standards and vote for me for president. Thank you. What would I say to accusations that I've fathered numerous pumps with various robots? I think those accusations are clearly false, and they belittle the average American's intelligence by even floating them as possibilities. You should not believe my opponent, Mr. Crankshaft. He thinks so little of the voting populace that he would go to just mislead you through any means possible. Anything to say about Great Pumpkin's recent ban on pump porn? I agree. Pump porn should be banned, as it's something people do not need to see. It just serves to degrade our noble pump here in this country. How much money will go to secure pump checks to make sure there are no counterfeit pumps? Counterfeit pumping are a very, or is a very serious problem as it provides cheap lead gas that breaks down cars very quickly. Well, we will have a pump inspector every day come around to your self or your full service station to inspect the pumps and make sure that there is no illegal or counterfeit activity going on at any pump. Why don't we just put wheels on pumps to drive them around and stop wasting materials on making cars? It would help to make more pumps, and in my vision, it would be the perfect nation. If we put wheels on pumps, then if your pump runs out of gasoline, where then do you fill up your pump with wheels? You would have to fill it out a pump. But if all the pumps are mobile, where do you go and fill up? There will always be a need for dedicated pumping stations. And while the pump-based vehicle might be a short-term solution to those trying to get their pumping fix, I do not feel it will adequately suit the needs of the average American pumpulous. Is pumping addictive? Do we need pump rehabilitation centers? Uh, while the act of pumping might provide a sense of euphoria, 
Pumping is very controlled and regulated. Only those who pass the pump exam are able to use a gas pump. And as a result, the general populace has got nothing to fear about the addictive nature of the gas pump itself. How much is too much pumping? You'll know. You'll know. Do I feel that it's important to be the first country to place a self-service gas pump on the moon? No. I feel that putting a self-service and not a full-service gas pump or station on the moon is anathema to this country's values. And I feel that unless America is the first to go and be the only country that has a full-service gas station on the moon, we have failed in our pumping duties. What am I talking about? I'm running for president under the platform of replacing every gas pump with a full-service gas pump where you are forbidden to pump your gas. What are my comments on pumping becoming a new esport? Well, oops, don't want to slide all the way off here. Let's zoom out and show you the mess I made. It's this. Ta-da. Do I have anything to say about the recent acquittal of George Pumperman on the crime of him desecrating a pump by the name of Pumperin Martin? Oh dear. <laughs> What has this become? I, I feel that violence against pumps is a growing issue and one that we should not turn a blind eye toward. Just because pumps are currently a marginalized population in this country does not mean that we should abandon pumps. We should look towards securing the safety of all pumps and that's why I feel only approved gas station full-service monitors should be allowed anywhere near a gas pump in this country. God damn it. Why am I not making enough money for this? What am I losing money on? We've been talking about pumps for over an hour now. It's just an issue I'm very passionate about. What are my thoughts on gay pump marriage? I feel that pumps should not marry. Pumps should just go and pump. Preferably cars, not themselves. I want all states to be New Jersey. You can't pump your gas in New Jersey either. Oh, I have to connect this to this. 10 out of 10 strangest Tim stream so far. I don't know what happened, but this happened. Tickled my nose with a feather. Why? See, the problem is that my park is currently running out of value, and what I really need to do is just finish this coaster, which will increase the value a lot, but I can't really do that because I don't have enough money. made a gear crank campaign poster. Gear crank. The robot position party. <laughs> I like that. The robot position party. Would you vote for this man? I wouldn't. You're just getting pumped up. Oh, the thing is that I really need to legitimately focus on this game so I don't lose. But I have so many questions. The Pumpulus is asking me. Uh, I'm at 150. Hmm. Maybe suggest the cemetery for pumps that are no longer used. Of course, they'll be given the same burial privileges as humans. 
I disagree. I think that once a gas pump is beyond its use, we, beyond its use, we should launch it into space to have it orbit our beautiful planet, so that we can live in a world run by and surrounded by the loving embrace of a gas pump. The Vox Pumpuli. <laughs> would I learn binary so I can debate the robot position candidate? I would decline to learn binary to speak with Mr. Crankshaft. Why can't I finish this? Why am I clicking all these? We want you to join the pumping. We do. Well, I legalize marriage between pumps and humans. I feel that's counterproductive, as marriage will only distract the pump from its true duty. Gear cranks rebuttal. I want to grow a nation where people can get to and from the desired destination more quickly and efficiently, as well as their belongings and future purchases. My vacuums will be as comfortable as possible if I'm elected. There will also be numerous vacuums to make sure there are no heavy traffic, no crisis in the future. Sounds like empty promises on part of Mr. Crankshaft. There is absolutely no way his vacuum proposal would be able to propose, will be able to promise or deliver nearly half the things Mr. Crankshaft says it will be able to. What are my opinions on the lax laws that are in regard to pump-on-pump -pump crime? Well, with a gas station attendant at every pump, clearly we will be able to fight back on pump-on-pump -pump crime, with the gas station attendant being able to serve as a mediator in terms of violence. Oh my god, that's a lot of vomit. As the future is filled with gas pumps, do I ever fear that gas pumps retain sentience and rebel against the seemingly oppressive government? Uh, I doubt it, because gas pumps will be treated as the creme de la creme of society, living the high life, and there is no reason for gas pumps to possibly rebel. What are my thoughts on aborting third trimester pump fetuses? I feel, okay, I feel the populace is confused here. Gas pumps, despite no, you know, despite how hard they pump, will never become pregnant. Gas pumps, unlike robots, will lack the ability to self-replicate. And therefore, gas pump abortion is not an issue you have to concern yourself with. simply cannot happen. Oh, it's almost done. Come on. What about robot abortion? I'm all for limiting the population of robots. I feel that more robots in this country is not the direction this country is headed. So I am in favor of abortion in all circumstances for robots. We could then recycle the robots to then create new gas pumps. So, in essence, the robots lose and we win. It's a win-win situation. This is how the Matrix started. What are my thoughts on the concern of the pump population and the issue of rust? We would like to keep all gas pumps protected from the elements. That's why I am floating the idea of a house for every pump, where gas pumps will not need to be protected, or will not need to be exposed to the forces that seek to destroy them, and it will also increase the comfort for consumers to get their gas pumped in an air-conditioned, controlled, indoor environment. This is also a terrible ride, by the way. I 
my critics say, I'm proud to be a pump, but I would like to marry my true love, a human. If you do not allow me to marry her, I'll be forced to vote for the Pump Supremacy Party. I would like to take the time to clarify that the Pump Supremacy Party is a known terrorist and hate group, and that members of the Pump Supremacy Party will be destroyed. Anyway, what was the question? <laughs> Thank you, Ariella Marie, for subscribing. <laughs> I actually just sort of thought everyone would just start unsubscribing after this. Tim, what are you talking? What, what is this? What are you doing? No, I don't want this. <laughs> I'm gonna make my platform go up and then down immediately. Oh, that's not working. I've won you over with my stance on pumps. Oh, thanks. Vote for me is a vote for the future. A pump future. I gotta connect this. It's never happening. You would subscribe, but you have to keep your gas money. Gear crank. The Robot Position Party. <laughs> Jesus. That's brilliant. I'm not voting for your gear crank. Gear Krenak. Would you vote for a candidate who can't even spell his own name? <laughs> What's his name? Is it Gear Crank? Is it Crankshaft Clank Gear? It's a different name every time. I thought it was Crankshaft. That's how little I think of my opponent and his policies. Can't even remember names. Chat, you are... something. I don't know how this turned into what it's become, but I want to be your gas president. <laughs> it's not gone far enough. And that should be enough to keep the park value afloat. Let me just double check, I don't need to keep the park rating up, and no I don't. What is my take on the threat of bombing from Korea? Their jealousy is growing day by day on my nation and can't hold back much longer. If they're successful, we could lose all of our pumps. What do I do to prevent this? Well, we are currently working on surface-to-air pumps, which can intercept any bombs sent from the Korean Peninsula mid-flight, and then convert those bombs into a source of energy to then be pumped from our full service stations. Raise your pumpers. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not Korea. I'm running for this country's president, America. Uh, I reject Clank Gear's proposition that vacuums are as effective as pumps. As effective. Would you trust a vacuum to put gas in your car? I wouldn't. It would just suck it out. And even if the vacuum is set to blow, two things. Why would you want to use something that blows? And second, what if it gets switched to, you know, the vacuum feature? Then it's depumping your car. That's un American. That flies in the face of everything we stand for. My pumps are completely unable to remove the gasoline from your car. Completely. Translate to find out the robot's secret message. Vote 
for Tim. What will I do about overpopulation in America? The production of pumps will be heavily monitored and regulated by my administration. We've got nothing to worry about in terms of the punk pop, pump populace growing faster than it can be sustained. All hail the brown, brown, and brown. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you make this? That's a much better rendition of my pump flag. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. Thank you for subscribing, Garrett TML. <laughs> what even happened to this stream? earlier tonight. Oh, thank you for subscribing as well. I can't keep track, I'm sorry. Somewhere an American pump is shedding its ear. Hmm. The first pump on the moon. Perfect. That is an American future I can get behind. What are my thoughts on people switching over to electric cars completely removing the use of pumps? I have addressed this in a previous question, but under my administration, electric cars would be completely, completely taken off the roads. Any electric car you see must be reported and destroyed. It will be illegal. Electric car sales will stop. Unless your car can be pumped, we will not allow it to be on the roads. What is my opinion on people saying that fist pumping is offensive to pumps? I would disagree. I would argue that fist pumping is actually a symbol of solidarity with the pumps. It shows respect for what the pumps do. Pump Supremacy Party's campaign. <laughs> if you're not a pump, then you're a chump. <laughs> That's genius. Also, hello, random bathroom noises. What would I do if all the gas dries up? Well, we'll just have to find something else to pump. Obama, no. That's not my position at all. What role does Snoop Lion have in the pro-pump regime? Will he become a pump advisor or will he be phased out in favor of more pump-based advisors or be dropped like it's hot? Uh, I would like to point Snoop in the cabinet somewhere. Specifically where, I'm not sure. But I feel like he brings many unique ideas to the pumping table. James Gearcrank has responded, vacuums are the energy efficient way of the future. Pumps require mass gas guzzling oil that is ruining the environment. Tim will drain the world of all of its resources via drilling with his obsession of pumps. My rebuttal. Well, what are you gonna take what are, you, what are you going to use the vacuums for, if not oil? In fact, Mr. Gearcrank's propositions are as polluting as mine, if not more so. Because what if you need to pump the gas, and you suck it inadvertently? Then the gas is going backwards, and you have to pump it again. That takes even more energy. My comments on anti-fuel organizations plugging pumps across the pump union after Mr. Patrolden's leak what? 
I, I've already assessed the Edward patrolled in situation, and I feel that he should be returned back to America where we can show him the glory of pumps. He is not doing himself any favors by staying in anti pump nations. How do I feel about the radical group, the Blue Pump Plan? Well, given their obsession with things like burning crosses, I am clearly opposed to the Poo Plump Plan as fire should be kept far away from our pumps at any given time. What are my thoughts on ethanol? If it can be pumped, I'm in favor of it. Will I ban assault pumps? I feel that the duty of a pump is to provide high quality gas services to the American populace, not to kill them. Therefore, I support a full ban on assault pumps. Where do you suggest the game? Oh, I could PM it to me, I guess. Are hybrid cars okay? Hybrid cars are acceptable, but frowned upon, as they can be pumped but their increased fuel efficiency means you will be being, or you will be making fewer stops to the gas station to receive more pumpings. Therefore, we respect your choice to have a hybrid car, but we will not recommend them personally. Dog one two three ish just subscribed. Oh God. I'll hail the pumps. Amen. Save it and put it on YouTube. It's gonna get a bunch of comments like, LOL, this is dumb. One person is stupid. Retweet if you agree. What's my opinion on pump action shotguns? I feel that despite having the word pump in the name, they do not fully grasp what we want to achieve via the pumping nature of a gas pump. So I'm for their criminalization. With my comment, if it can be pumped, then I'm in favor of it. What would I have to say about the new scientific breakthrough that allows electricity to finally be pumped? Well, I would like to criminalize such science, the scientists behind the research of pumpable electricity are traitors to this nation, and I would like them thrown in jail or introduced to a re-education pumping campaign as soon as possible. Where do I stand on smoking near pumps? I would stand away from smoking near pumps. Can I promise to put a pump in every home? I will try. I will try. What is my stance on pumps using pumping enhancing substances such as pumps... <laughs> pumpstrosterone? I feel that for all pumps to be on an even playing field, an even pumping field, an even tarmac, pump enhancing drugs should be banned. They're not in the interest of Americans. They are here to devalue what it means to be pumped. The hard work that gas attendants put into their job every day is undermined if you use a pump enhancing chemical. And therefore, we would like to consider that a felony under my administration. Also, I need to save. Boop. Boop. How do I feel about pumps? I feel it's a misfortunate typo. What about medical pump wanna? You can pump however you want at an authorized pumping station. 
If it turns out that it has medical benefits, so much the better. I don't even know what to write in this. <laughs> Just pump. President Pumperson. Pumping to a better tomorrow. That's my campaign slogan. Now guys, I've got a busy day of campaigning ahead of me tomorrow. It's 5.30 a.m., I think I should probably go to bed. If you'd like, consider following the stream for more updates on my campaign. Or following my Twitter account where campaign updates will be posted. Here's the dumb link for my dumb Twitter garbage. So I guess consider following either of those if you want. I'll try maybe streaming again tomorrow. I have to see what my lab schedule is like. Uh, if you want to hang out in the chat for a moment or two, I'll run a quick commercial or something. And uh, thanks for watching and putting up with whatever the hell the last couple of hours were. So thanks again. Thanks for putting up with something. And uh, I'm off. See you next stream, I guess. Later then, guys, and thanks again for watching. I need sleep. It's really late. Good night.